What's up, chat? Had to wait for the music to stop playing. I didn't want to interrupt. And I think it's a little loud. But hey, what's up? Another round? Yeah, I was going to play something else tonight, but it didn't run. It ran like ass on my computer. Uh, you'd think a game, if they release it, you know, a new... I think if they sell a game, it has to at least, you know, run. Shouldn't that be like a law somewhere? I mean, we have... Imagine you buy orange juice, and it's like... Every time you buy it, it just... Oh, it's it's spoiled. You get a lawsuit, but no, for games, if it doesn't run, no such thing happens. Why do we allow that? Beyond Good and Evil, exactly. Uh, it chugs, it just like chug 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 chugs as you try to play it, so it's unplayable. Also, no controller support, apparently, so you had to play it all with keyboard and mouse. But, uh, that makes, that makes both Steam and Epic Store versions of Beyond Good and Evil that do not work. Why even bother releasing it on a newer platform for selling games if it's going to be an unworkable... I guess I'm going to have to like, find a fan pad or something. That's the only way, I'd imagine. How disappointing. Either that or play the original like GameCube version or something. <laughs> if you can even find it. Well, I could always resort to the Pakistani GameCube version, I suppose. That doesn't feel right, though. Uh, hang on, what's up? I like how you added me, Jim, but you also said, hey oh Puff. So I was a little confused of who you were talking to. Like, at Dardigan, hello, Puff. Huh? How does that work? Scratching my head over that one. Are we one of the same, Puff? Have you been me this entire time and Jim finally figured it out? Or do you just get a little confused by typing that message in? Maybe he's got, like, at Dardigan hotkeyed onto his keyboard and actually pressed it. Actually, there have been several lawsuits regarding publishers when they released games that they didn't work. From the players? Or from the shareholders? Because I know, say, Cyberpunk, the developers that got sued by their shareholders for, like, not, for, like... I think it's for, like, the PlayStation 4 version being taken off the store, but... I don't think there's ever been, like, lawsuits of, like, players buying a game that doesn't work. I'm not sure if that, that's ever happened. I've never heard of it, so... It should, because it's bullshit. <laughs> How's the script writing going? Uh, slow. That's why tomorrow I'm not gonna be streaming so I can focus all day on it again. Motivation just hasn't been there this week, I feel. Tomorrow I'm gonna get up early, go jogging. Just to get my, the blood pumping, then take a shower. Come back and just sit down at the desk and like yell right away for the rest of the day. Pretty good, I'm glad you're doing okay. Oh, you're doing okay. Uh, but I, other than that, yeah. Dart, what's up, school? How you doing? How you doing? No, I'm gonna like load into the game. I'm not gonna play it yet. I'm just kind of like don't want the music constantly playing in my ear. That way I can just like pause it. I can only take so much yo generic guitar riffs for so long. I don't know if Kate told you this. I made some pictures for you when you and Kate played the quarry. Uh, oh, when we play the quarry game. Oh well, I'll I'll wait until then to see them then or something. Or, or wait, you're, go you're going to make them, or you already made them? Because no, she hasn't told me anything about it yet. But hey, I'm sure they're great, man. I believe you make fan art of her all the time, don't you? I think I've seen a little bit of it uh, on her Discord page. I think Fallout 3 or New Vegas, Bethesda got some lawsuits because the game was hit with a false advertising lawsuit because it didn't run on 360 or PS3 without patches, and it came weeks later. I don't know, I, I remember buying that game, Those both those games when they came out, or Fallout 3, or... Maybe not, maybe it's New Vegas, because I remember buying Fallout 3 the day it came out and playing it, so I didn't need patches. I'll buy it at a high price. Really? Which what will you buy at a high price, sir? My fabulous collection of Fabergé eggs? Or my wall full of anime posters and figurines? I don't know. How much do those go for? Probably a lot, right? People shell out serious money for the animes. If only I was anime, then the sheerish money would come to me. Though I could be anime these days if I wanted to go the VTuber route. However, I don't think I'd be a, a cute anime girl. I don't think it'd work very well. It'd be kind of weird. This Sunday has been long. In fact, this whole weekend has been long. I wish For me, my days go by way too quick because I kind of like wake up late. Go to bed late, wake up late. Doesn't sound healthy, does it? Still trying to fix that sleep schedule. Not easy. Haven't you already been made into anime? Uh, 
I don't know, I didn't see the season of it, if so, but uh, someone made a cat girl version of me once, but that wasn't really... I, d I don't think that I didn't really see anything really that screened me in it. It's just really a cat girl. There wasn't really much of me in it. If anything. It's like, uh, I, f I found a cat girl avatar, and uh, now I named it after you, is what it more like was, was more like. But uh, now, if I ever went the VTuber around, I think I'd go for like a 16-bit looking avatar. You know, something that looks chunky. Pixelated, even. I don't. See, I haven't seen anyone do that yet, have they? Had like a 16-bit sprite uh, VTuber rig? I could be the first. Uh, however, those things cost a lot of freaking money. <laughs> G ungodly amounts, even, if you want something good. Booba? Well, I, I feel that this image is more all about the thigh rather than the booba. Uh, the booba is m mainly in shadows, and one of them is barely visible. So you only really get an outline, but the thigh is brightly lit, and you can see every detail of it. Speaking of EA, word has it they're trying to sell or merge an NBC. NBC? Okay, I would not expect NBC to be get buying a game company. I mean, Warner Brothers owns one, but that's a, that's a publishing movie company. NBC is like a national broadcast company. Will we get? What would that mean? <laughs> I'm I'm not really sure what that would mean. So what is this game? Uh, did, were you not here yesterday? Base it was the uh, the basically it's kind of like a retro style game uh, for a sim game, but it's also based in like the spooky west. You know, just take the wild west and add you know monsters to it. Missed yesterday's stream, but uh, yeah, it's all about just like your know, wild west, but with your know, monsters slaying in it. I love you, man. No homo. No, 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 no. Go homo right now. Do not delete the homo. If you're gonna love me, it's gonna be homosexual. <laughs> no, no, you can't just like no homo, man. No, 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 I, I demand it. Let me stop you right there. Stop right there, criminal scum. You violated the law. How am I tonight? Apparently I'm in a good mood. I don't know why, though. I didn't Nothing special happened today. But I, I'm all smiles and uh, positive energy, I think is the word for it. An idea for a western set with zombies because of the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. That that literally, I mean, that is an idea to have because that is exactly what Red Dead Redemption Nightmare is. It's like, oh, I had an idea for this game where it's all about, you know, zombies in the Old West. And like, while you're playing a game about zombies in the Old West. Uh, I love chat completely non-platonically though. Oh, it's chat you love, huh? How come no one ever says like, no hetero? Hey man, I love you, no hetero. What would be the situation for that? It's good to hear. I mean, I'm, generally, I'm always in a pretty good mood. It takes a lot to get me down because I've already like gone through the fire and the flames and the tribulations of life. So, really, at this point, I think the things that would really make me sad are nuclear apocalypse. Uh, you know, uh, Ebola goes airborne, and uh, uh, killer bees. Yeah, let's go with killer bees. Larger than normal killer bees. How about that? Got to add a little extra spice to it. Love you, no hetero. Yeah, there we go. Pretty sure that means the opposite. Though. Like, I, I totally love you, man. Home. <laughs> Through the fire and flames of carry on. Well, I wasn't trying to do the you know the lyrics because you never know who might try to sue you for that. But some they they appropriate the lyrics, so I'm just quoting the original lines. Honk 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 honk. There's a lot of clown emotes now, there aren't there? Used to I use that with a guy friend of mine, but we had to stop because people thought we were gay. Well, if you go around saying no hetero, people are more than likely, yeah, but you know what? Let them think that. It's pretty normal these days, right? World famine would be pretty terrifying. Thing is, it's kind of hard for world famines to have, because we're really good at making food these days, if you notice. I mean, we're really fucking good at making the food. Really, people only get are, like, starving these days, or they live somewhere where the food just can't be taken to because of, like, corruption or, like, war. Other than that, you can probably still go anywhere and get like, hey, can I get like a, sh a drink full of sugar? And then you'll, some chips, and you'll, whatever else you got. I don't know, you'll usually find something. As, as long as you're not living at like the ass end of civilization somewhere where there's like nothing. It's like, no, nope, you gotta grow your tomatoes out here, son. Even your boyfriend thinks you're gay? Okay, you've now flummoxed me. I'm assuming you're a guy? Because you are doing all the, like, no-gay jokes earlier. Which you wouldn't have to do if you were a female. I like I like the cut of your humor, though. It's good. You got us all fooled. 
and you waited for your moment to actually reveal the twist, you know, turn the knife on the joke, like, yeah, here's how it really works. Uh, but hey, uh, still not completely fixed now. I'm gonna drink some beer tonight. How much? Getting a little tipsy? Or totally shit-faced? Just saying dumb shit. That is the essence of humor. What do you think I do in a live stream all the time? When you're expected to be socially on for like four to five hours, you're going to be saying a lot of dumb stuff. It's just a stream of consciousness. I had something I was going to do today, but I forgot what it was, so I decided to come here. I wonder how many people actually end up watching a live stream for that very same reason. You know what? I had something important I got to do, but apparently not enough to actually recall it, you know, when I needed it. So yeah, here I am. I think that's probably how my job, you know, I, I started this career. Couldn't think of anything else better to do, so yeah, I guess I'll try this YouTube content stuff. Because, you know, when you live in a place like I do, where there's not a lot to do, you gotta find other ways of, like, you know, killing your time and doing something creative. You used to do a character of rednecks entertain people. I don't have to do a character job, but I can literally, like, summon the, you know, summon the essence of my southern blood. <laughs> even though my, my neck isn't red because I don't, like, work outside. And even if I did, I'd still be smart enough to wear sunblock so I don't get, like, sun damage all over me. Live stream is the important part of my day, being a part of chat center. Hey, if it helps you out, man, I'm glad it's here for you. I know you got a rough some, you got a rough out there, but hopefully you get back on your feet properly soon, and you can leave us all behind as you go on to make millions, and you'll have an expensive lifestyle of fast cars and sexy women. Uh, usually people watch streams as background noise or to interact with creators they love. Uh, that generally, yeah. There's also some people out there that watch, there's there's many different reasons, but that is often, often what it is. Most of you probably have like another tab open, you're browsing right now. How many of you are on Reddit right now or something? <laughs> or Twitter, whatever, or Instagram looking at you know, girls. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm looking at you know, the art on Instagram, Dorian. I'm not you know, looking up girls. Usually get people cackling, what, with a southern accent? Is it that easy where you live? My god, I could kill there. I'm doing book research stuff. That seems like it'd be distracting when you have someone's voice in your head while you're trying to read. You're on YouTube, you're on YouTube at the same time as on while well, you're watching my streams, huh? Interesting level of multitasking. Thank you. If I ever make millions, I'll donate a thousand gift subs to this channel. Uh, well, I, I appreciate it, but hey, hopefully if you ever make millions, you just become an incredibly, you like, you'll also a uh, sheltered person in a bubble full of all sorts of rich, rich assholes and you completely forget about me. See, I don't know why I'm wishing this on, like, <laughs> I hope you get alienated one day is what this wish sounds like, but I'm trying to make it funny, but it's really just coming out. It's like, wow, that's kind of a weird thing to say. It's like, wow, why would you wish that I become, like, you know, a horrible person? <laughs> but then again, you don't have to, like, wish it. Usually money does that to people. So I got time to move into a gated community and, you know, sit of uh, expensive drinks and play golf or something. What do rich people do again? I mean, I, I know what they do based, well, what they say they do all the time based off Instagram photos and, like, you know, news reports, but pretty sure most of the time they're just sitting around, like, doing the same thing everyone else does, only in more expensive surroundings. Putting the kids to bed and they like the stream, you know what? Probably a good idea to put them to bed tonight, because, I mean, there has been, like, a half-naked woman on the screen the entire time I've been talking. Or how to avoid taxes. You don't have to learn that. You pay someone to do it for you. While you're in indie mood, you should consider Bloodborne Demake. Uh, I'd rather just wait till actual... That feels like a game you play after you played the original Bloodborne. I'm not gonna lie, if I had mega money, I'd probably wouldn't change too much other than better house, etc. I always like it when people talk about how they won the lottery. They would donate it all to charity. Just, I don't need it. Just let, let the children have it. And you, you know fucking well, like, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. No, it. You're bullshitting us. Maybe you donate some. I guarantee you, you're buying a really nice house beforehand. That Southern Dardigan. No, I, I'm using the Southern accent intentionally there because a lot of Southerns, Southerners play the lottery. For some of them, it's their backup plan. Like, I, I use my special numbers. My children's birthday, I got six of them. So I gives me enough numbers already. There just there just really are a lot of Southerners who play the lottery. It's like a cultural thing, somewhat. I have actually never played it once, other than like a scratch off ticket. I've never actually like oh, I'm gonna go run my numbers tonight, guys. 
Like, it is, I already knew, like, the odds were like, yeah, you're never gonna win that shit. So, why would I waste money? It's really just a tax on poor people that you volunteer to pay. Got that scratch off, and I won 59. I, I, like, the one time I got a scratch off as a kid, I didn't win anything, so that was enough to, like, put me off at ever doing it again. Played the lottery once, and that was really mostly my parents urging me to try it. My mom used to play it sometimes. Mainly only when it got big, though. Uh, buy one in, in my, my mate's uh, house with some land, and then just use the rest to buy and modify cars. I mean, hey, that's a dream. I, I but there's always a, there was some people, like, they just like, well, like, you know, when they get the camera on them, they want to show how pure they are. Like, I would give it all to charity. It's every bit of it. I don't need it. God has already supplied me with enough to make me happy. What would more money do? So, yeah, all to the children. All of it. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, huh? If I got money, I would not give it to charity unless I figure out them. Usually, truly rich people make their own charity. They don't have to give it to charity anymore. Like, they set up a foundation. <laughs> I'm convinced that I would be charitable if I became rich. Yeah, I would I would hope everyone would, you know, at least be somewhat charitable if they had a you know, lot of disposable income. But a lot of people also just like, hey, this is a tax incentive. <laughs> I have a plan. Uh, we win some scratch-offs, buy a little land. Oh, I see where you're going. Head off to the Tahiti. Dancing girls. A lot of older ladies spending time at a gas station and buying scratch offs. Well, I usually see a lot of older ladies at gas stations too, but they're really just, you know, working. <laughs> no. It'd be a weird place to run that trade by the gas station. Uh, but I, yeah, uh, there's always people like doing that because, you know, it, it's actually kind of sad because it's just desperate people like, just come on, Lord, just this once. It's all I need. I'll never ask you for anything else. Wonder if God is ever like, well, of course you wouldn't ask me for anything else. That's setting you up for life. But then you also hear about the people who win the lottery tend to go broke a few years later because they don't know how to handle money. It's like they win like $10 million and you're like, wow, you're set for life now. And then, nope, all gone in two years. <laughs> and now they're actually poorer than they were when they won. That's actually true, by the way. It's actually a real phenomenon of people winning the lottery and going broke just a few years later. I were rich. I donated to charity, but I also put some of my money in a hidden vault in my house. I just want to point out to everyone... It's not a bad thing you'd like, you know, you know, to like keep some money of yourself. You know, it's not being greedy of you because everyone's a, you know, you, a lot of people live, you know, paycheck to paycheck. So if you ever did like come into a bunch of money, I, no one would blame you for keeping most of it. It's like you don't want to go too crazy with charity because then you're like, oh, well. Ch some to charity, yes. Secret mattress fund. You know, I wouldn't recommend that because house fires. Would basically take care of myself before I yell. Just put some in the S&P 500 so you always have you know, money in the back. Well, in the, in the market anyways. It's turned into a financial st finance stream for some reason. I'm supposed to be playing like cowboys and monsters. Okay. A uh, friend of yours won like 5000 off a scratch off. Went bar hopping and blew it in a night. He went more than bar hopping if he spent 5000 in a single night. A little bit more that you you need a little bit more than just alcohol to spend unless you bought the really expensive oh, shitty stuff. Here. You know a guy who mm. kept over two thousand in the oh, safe geez. at his mom's house, but then the house got fire and all that money out. Safes well you'll get hot, so the stuff inside them burns. So it's usually not a good idea to keep well, two thousand I can understand someone keeping two thousand in cash at home. That's not a terrible amount of money. I mean for a lot of people that could be make or break money, but for most people, that's just like, hey, that's like a rainy day fun. If, like, if you need money, that had to go to the bank. So I, I wouldn't blame someone for keeping 2000 on them at their home somewhere. It's mainly when you get up to, like, past 5000 it's a bad idea. You dropped 300 at a strip club once. Was it a good one? I assume it must have been a good one. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want shotgun rounds and silver bullet. Alright, golden nuggets, these sell for a good price. Right now, let me sell these tongues. Alright, that should be fine. Wasn't a good one. C section scars and cigarette burn. Well, uh, well. Now it's sad. <laughs> Sad stripper, you know, you know, that but then again, I've, I've gone on a rant before about strip clubs, and now I think they're depressing. Mainly for the clientele, though, not the ladies. 
Wait, where was I trying to go last time? I was trying to get over here, but I died trying to do it. I was like, I was almost there too, and then something killed me. So we're going to try to do that again. Keep at least 5k locked up because medical bills can come up at any time. Uh, true. You went to a strip club on acid once? How'd that go? I'm assuming the strippers were terrifying. Like, man, she's got teeth where she ain't supposed to have teeth. Oh, man, they're like, they got tentacles. Uh, I'm not sure. Seems like a bad idea to take LSD before you go there. Never been a strip club, but my buddy hired strippers to come to us while he was on leave. Honestly, it was a blast. I assume it's probably funner if you're if you're hiring personal ones to come to your place for like a party, rather than like going to a strip club. Because then you don't have to be like be around all the divorced you know dads who are like sad and miserable because their wife left them, so they're like here to like get some human comfort. Yeah, that's always been my issue with the strip clubs. They're like just kind of like the clientele would like, you know, make it... Yeah, this is depressing. <laughs> See the guys there with all their like, you know, oh, I made so many mistakes. Wasn't planned. I went to a Montreal show and hung out with a staff afterwards. My friend who was a bouncer at the venue got us in the strip club for free. So yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I've never really done the strip club stuff. I'm, I've had a friend who tried to drag me to one once, but thankfully my ID is, has it expired and I hadn't renewed it yet, so they wouldn't let me in. So like, thank God for small, lazy miracles. But then again, there was someone here in chat like a year ago who was actually a manager at a strip club and was promising me VIP access if I ever came to London and visited his. Like, I, I could be in the VIP room of a strip club. I would definitely want to ask if I could bring like my Nintendo Switch with me and so I could play Smash with the girls though. You know, the wholesome smash. I bet I'd be more popular than you would think. Like, hey girls, I'm here and I brought Zelda. And she's not actually, and none of you are named Zelda, right? By any chance? Good. Now, now things won't be awkward when we, we play, when we play Breath of the Wild. But just in case one of you is named Zelda, can you just say the lines you'll link the blood moon rises? You're here and ready to smash. True. They probably you'd probably take him explaining to them first. Like, uh, sir, we don't do that here. This is a strip club, not a brothel. Like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna play as Meta Knight, and you can play as someone who will lose to Meta Knight. Down. The freak. Give me the gold. This is a wholesome strip club, sir. <laughs> yes. This is a Christian strip club, sir. You're going to have to take that elsewhere. I feel like if I went to a strip club, I wouldn't be focused on booba. Rather, I'd be highly critical of the dancers' dance. Well, oh. you're really into, like, the dancing skills. A lot of strippers are pretty, pretty bad at dancing, I understand of it. It's because, you know what, if you, it depends on the club you go to. But for me, it's like, there's only two reasons to go to a strip club. Get horny and get drunk. And since I don't drink, already one option is kind of pointless for me. Like, I'm not going to go there to get drunk off of, like, cheap alcohol. Yeah, I think I need to get down there somehow. I don't know how. Great conversation. I think it's actually very interesting. Really, I missed. There's a strip club in Lexington that is non-alcoholic, boggles the mind. Do they are they very popular? <laughs> That's a weird mix. Only gonna stick around till 10 30 or so tonight? You got work, eh? Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta 
what you gotta do, my friend. They're still in business somehow? Maybe they just have really high quality dancers, and that's how they do it. How does one get done there? It's where I'm trying to go. Nix refused to abandon Babylon's fall despite having literal zero players. I mean, I mean that just means there's nowhere to go but up, though. So they got a point. They can't actually fail any worse than it already is. So now they only have you know good things to look forward to. You know, you gotta use proper logic when you estimate this stuff. They can only add people from here on out. was not the right way. Hmm. This map is not exactly well put together when it comes to show when it's how to like make uh well show verticality because down there is where I think I need to go but I can't figure out the way down there to like do get rid of this stupid bag. NPC sort of banning Babylon's fall to join them. <laughs> Yeah, even the NPC. Where do our NPC quests go? Oh, they're the Final Fantasy fourteen now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just being thorough because I don't want to like mess this up again. I can come all the way down again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wasn't that way? This is just back to the entrance. Down this way. Maybe it was this way. Yeah, here we go. Maybe. Thinking possibly. So we're playing Cyberpunk today, and it was immediately hit by a cutscene with an NPC with a T-pose. Let the jank commence. Uh, I mean... That's not the worst jank to get, though. I mean, it's a pretty, uh, in innocuous one. So it doesn't really ruin your day. In fact, it's kind of amusing these days. Who doesn't love a good T-pose? Like, oh yeah, that, that's adorable. Corn? Why is chat just writing? You know, I've never understood the chat's a fascination with writing corn before. At least when I do something corn related, it's me doing corn speak. Are you guys just big fans of the vegetable? Bought it half off with a one if I mean that's a pretty good meal price to get it at. Especially now that it's been patched a lot. Um, should be coming out of this having made a ton of money, as they say in the business. I am corn, the the chaos god. Yeah, I'll take that. Stack the skulls high upon the throne, my friends. I can love. I only like it corn if it's in pop flavored, or if it's in pop form, or if it's on cob form, and it's been thoroughly roasted. If you just like serve me up a plate of like corn, like like literally came from a can or something, I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you, sir. Either pop it or roast it on a cob and put butter on it. Otherwise, you did it wrong. Hello, Dardigan. Do you have any plans on playing the remaster of Chrono Cross? I heard it didn't run very well, but I did want to play it once they came out with it, but I'm waiting to see if it gets patched, and apparently, because it runs like ass, doesn't it? On PC, maybe it runs better on console, I don't know, but I heard on PC it doesn't run very well. So, and it's already like an old PS1 game, so I'd like to maybe like experience it properly, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait a little bit more before I try it. Uh, okay, this was not the right way either, was it? Level this is just like, doesn't do anything with itself. People are still divided on Chrono Cross, what, the new release version of it? I just saw the te technical look-through of it on it, and it apparently just didn't run very well. 
How dare you not say hi? Oh, I'm sorry, did you... Oh, Prismatic. How long are you doing? How are you doing this day, fine sir or lady? Are you having a good afternoon? Did you eat well? Sleep well? Uh, shower well? What else can you do well? See, I'm covering all my bases right now. Don't want anyone to feel left out. You ever play either of the Nino Kuni games? No. Never play them. Uh, I did. I think I do own the first one though. I might have got it during a sale, maybe. But never played it. Okay, the only way down there is by going further down the cliff, and then we'll check it out. Into the mine shaft. Too late? Wow. Hard to please, huh? Okay, you'll forgive me eventually. They're JRPG heavens, but the first one was has a different... I know they're based off, uh, you know, the Studio Ghibli stuff. Well, they're not based off it. They just try to use the art style. Not like based off any of the movies they have. I heard the second one, though, wasn't that good. Or at least was kind of forgettable. Still that, actually. Hello, pilots. Why are you bringing up old stuff? not me anymore, you know. Left it behind when I, like, you know, took on the gun. Uh, I took out the gun. I left a peaceful life behind of being a Titanfall, you know, YouTuber. Ghibli films are amazing. Uh, I like a lot of them, but some of them don't really interest me too much. I have to say. Mm. Need silver ammo. Feel my knowledge has increased. My brain is expanded by shooting someone else in the head. I like this way of learning. Save the kids, dart is attacking mines. And when you put it like, you know what? I I suggest we change the word minor to only mean like people who dig underground. We come up with a new word for like underage you know, children. Just to avoid confusion. But as going back to Ghibli films, you know, Princess Mononoke and Spirits Away are two I feel most people should at least try to watch. And I feel that most people can enjoy. Alright. Yeah. Taking tongues off everybody, so let's go down here now. Is this where I need to go? Away is one, you know, for me, it's Princess Mononoke, because that was the first one I ever saw, and I, was like, I really was blown away when I first watched it. I was just flipping through channels one day and came across it and like watched like half of it. And there's enough to make like, yeah, I want to see more of this stuff. So it took me a while before I got to see the entire movie, though. Uh, what was your favorite character part of Arcane? Uh, I just actually like the sound, the music. Actually, well, I thought I thought the actual like technology, the animation behind it was really good for a 3D movie, for like you know non-movie, you know non-movie 3D animation. But uh, it, it does pretty well with the characters, anyways, and their motivations. I felt, even though Jinx really is just Harley Quinn. Let's be honest. It just yeah. She's Harley Quinn, but you know what? Harley Quinn's a good character trope that doesn't get used nearly enough. Okay, was this also not... Okay, 
How does one get over here? Bring a peace. Bring peace to one of the burial sites of his tribe. I should find their sacred cave and leave the packet. Yeah, I cannot find how to get to it though. Kiki's delivery service was never sold out. I haven't really seen many Yo Ghibli movies. These are minor characters. <laughs> Good joke. Uh, I'm just listening while my PS5 controller charges. Are you like preparing for like a rich session or something? Like, you know, got a game after this. I really begin to wonder if there's a... Where? Hmm, I cannot find the entrance to this place. It's like somewhere in this area, but I cannot get to it. That's not it down there either. That leads to an entirely different area. Unless it's something on the side, though. You, you, eh. Unless that, in, unless that somehow gets you to it, maybe. If there's like a thing there, like a door that goes to it. Shoots a man in the bow. Oh, fuck, that's all the dudes. Run, 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 run. Bad birds. Uh, what is your current objective in this game? Right now I'm trying to do a side quest where I take a bag of like herbs to this burial site, but I can't find the way to it. My main objective is to go to this uh, fort that's over here, but it kind of like do, trying to do this first. Or I'm having no real luck. No, I guess I really need to go sell off all my stuff because I got full inventory. Favorite Miyazaki film? I already said it's Seal Princess Mononoke. Yep, without a doubt. Stopped out for a second. Okay, so you just weren't here to hear it. So I'm not dealing with you anymore when I come by. Know how to get to the burial ground to go and have- Yeah, just one second. Let me sell off my inventory. Then you can, like, you know, send me a tip. Dead man walking. Uh. I should get a ton of money because I just picked up all these gold nuggets. Well, I know where to farm money in this game now. <laughs> that's almost broken. And that's good. Uh, let's see, I'll sort of sell this. Uh, well, he doesn't really have much. We'll buy the ammo. I think I'll not buy anything else from him, actually. I'll just hold on to my money so I can go to the next trader over and get some more stuff. Uh, the Castle of Caligostro is my favorite. Cal Caligostro? Yeah, no, I don't even know what that one's about. No, no knowledge of it to me. Alright, so let me move this over. Alright, uh, I'll just say when you reach the derailed train, just go behind it to the right. There should be... Oh, I think where that is. I just never tried looking back there before. Sometimes I think it was underground, so I had to like, go through the other caves. This has me, like, right here, so I'm uh, guessing this isn't quite the right way yet. Let's go, you know, further behind it, down there by the train. 
You went past it, it's not that far. Yeah, it's probably this way, right? What? Why does this thing have two tongues, by the way? I mean, I'd expect them one tongue, but two? Is it common for their, their people? Making chicken enchiladas, burritos yesterday, and enchiladas tonight. You're in a Spanish or Mexican food, you bender, aren't you? I don't blame you. It's been painfully obvious for the longest time that they have just some of the best food in the world. Like, how do, how do they do it? How do they beat everybody in it? I guess it just comes with, like, uh, we have all the tomo all the spices, it's probably all. And we use them. Uh, okay, here we are. Demons can have multiple tongues to speak of? Apparently so, because I'm finding two on these things. But I'm not going to complain, that's more money for me. Oh shit, there's a lot of them in here. Freak. You've always thought Mexican food as a whole is terrible? Really? I've never seen anyone say that before. Good. Maybe you just haven't been trying real Mexican food. Maybe like, man, that Taco Bell shit is weak. I don't see why everyone likes the old Mexican food. What's up, Cook Bristles? How you doing? Uh, arrows? Yeah, I'll take them. That'll come in handy. I'm like, not even on the map anymore. Okay, yeah, that, that's a way out to that fort, I believe. So we'll come back this way later. This is the burial ground, though. You un unpack the little package and its content spreads all around you. Everything seems more quiet and calmer than before. Alright, I guess we need to go get our reward then. Uh, thank you for the tip, though. Okay, some people just have poor taste buds. It happens. I, I wish I could, like, uh, well, when you say poor taste buds, I feel attacked somewhat because I just, mine do not let me eat vegetables. It's like, nope, the texture's all wrong. What are you doing? You can't eat this. So this is poison. Hmm, what was this way again? Wow. Wow. Thank you, BJ, for the 100 bits, man. Don't like mushrooms? Well, like I said, it's not the taste or smell of something. There's a lot of stuff that I love the smell of, but I just can't eat it because of my... For some reason, I'm... I'm watching the... I guess most picky, picky eaters are, like, texture sensitive, but if food doesn't have the right texture, I can't eat it. It's like my mouth is like... Ugh. It doesn't even feel like food to me. So I just want my can't make myself swallow it, or I just like ugh, oh, ugh, this is getting out of me <laughs> if I try to. This makes me gag. So a lot of vegetables do it for me. Ah, I sense the spirits of my tribe are pleased. Accept my words of thanks. I could spare your words of thanks. Pay up. Dead man walking. Speak. Now you can take these tongues off my- What do you think they do with all these tongues they're buying from me? <laughs> What'd that tongue do? Okay, he's not gonna have any more, like... Bullets till I die again, is he? Yeah, we'll just continue saving money. I'm gonna rest to get my health back, though. Cursed again, are we? 
It could be arranged, yes. We would even do it for free. Let's see. The spirit of Great Cat looks upon you. Kill the accursed ones in a way that will make the spirit pleased. Be unseen by eyes of your enemies and surprise them with their death. Stealth kill things, gotcha. Pickled hard-boiled eggs are great. Uh, I do love eggs, generally. But uh, mainly just scrambled. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking I should head back to the other trader and like buy some stuff, but I think I'll hold off. Uh, maybe we'll find another a new trader in the fort. But you're, how are you alive? So is Blood Hunt, is Blood Hunt like, in mean, this game, this is Blood West, but no, this is more, this is not the same as something like that. This is more like, say, Deus Ex, more than anything else in terms of gameplay. Where it's like a stealth game, but you can also not stealth anything if you want, like me just shooting everything in the head. You're allergic to eggs and milk? Oh, you got a dairy allergy, huh? Thankfully, I don't have any food allergies. I guess I lucked out on that one. I do need to stealth kill to get rid of these curses, so... Ooh, that's a lot of things to stealth kill all at once, though. Well, I only had to do it one time, apparently. By stealth, then you can shoot while... Some enemies, like this guy with the coffin on him, are easier to kill with an axe, so shooting them is a big waste of ammo. Doesn't stop me from eating dairy though, but do you feel like bloated and everything horrible afterward though? Like, man, it was worth it. I know some people with some seafood allergies that, despite that, will still eat seafood all the time. They just go get a shot afterwards, like, yeah, it's worth a shot. How's the script writing going? Slowly. I've been like dragging my feet a little bit. That's what tomorrow I'm probably not streaming at all. I mean, I also have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so it's going to take up some of my time. But I'm probably not. I'm not streaming tomorrow, so I'm going to like after my dentist appointment, just focus on the script. Who's shooting me? And fuck. 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 I am dead. Very dead. Ooh, it's just a cleaning, you know. Back again. I think I'll wait till I die. Well, I mean, uh, I've only got. Actually, I need to level up more than anything else. Oh yeah, we were getting four points for what was it? When aiming down iron sights, time slows down by thirty-five percent for two seconds. This effect may happen. Look, okay, we can now upgrade that if we wanted. Uh, hard world. 50% resistance, acid and fire, self earner, be smart, not stupid, 10% of experience, bust 10% of experience gain. So this will let me level up faster. That seems worth. Seems like a good investment. And then we'll get, increase the chance of finding gold items by 10% or... Increase the range for throwable items. Strong alcohol doesn't work on you by much. Mule. Increases size of inventory by three rolls. Yeah, sure, why not? You love scallops? Scallops really are just like your slightly more savory onions, really. But they're pretty good. If you don't want a strong onion taste, you can go with a scallop. Yeah, I think I'll wait till I die one more time before I remove the curse, because it doesn't remove those curses, they're only half finished. I found. I want to get rid of the ignorant curse. Oh, that's oh, that's keeping me from leveling up. Oh, yeah, maybe we go ahead and get rid of that now then. I mean, shallots. Oh, did I say something else? Yeah, shallots. Oh, they were talking about scallops. Okay, scallops are different. Yeah, that's right. And you did what we asked. Good. Yeah, I just you know disregard being stupid. Picked the wrong thing when I was talking about your know, vegetables. Hey, thank you again. Uh, let's see, you got bullets for me now, right? You do. Uh, 
I'm tempted to buy another healing potion, but I think I'll hold off. I think I'll hold up, yeah. Don't need the arrows, though. Put them in my bag. Hey guys, face looks like a Doom character. My well, I think he's more this. My character is more based off the old blood guy, guy from the Blood Games more than you know Doom. But I mean, he's wearing a hat. How are you getting that though? He's got a beard and a and a you know Stetson on. Yep, totally looks like the Doom guy. Back we go. <laughs> Thankfully everything stayed dead in here. It's, you know, it's kind of hit or miss where the things will stay dead, but if you die. Like, I've died sometimes and no one respawns, and then I die and maybe someone will respawn, and then sometimes you die and everybody respawns. I'm not really sure how it works. Have you ever seen Dusk? It's a really good FPS game inspired by blood. I played Dusk, and there's not really anything there to sin, story-wise. Uh, it's just that like, you get some, like, narration from the bad guy every once in a while. Not really sure how it would work with that. Be careful, there's like a gun guy over there. Oh, you're thinking of the guy I was selling stuff to? Yeah, but he had a mask on as well. <laughs> from that fight. Oh, things hurt so much in this game. Uh, Let's use some bandages instead of my potion. My potion costs too much money. And these bandages don't heal for shit though. But, at least I got a lot of them. Alright, so, uh, let's get the silver bullets ready. finger butthole means I mean I only accept that joke if I'm playing Olden Ring. Alright, into the four we go. Next objective. Uh let's start using uh yeah we can start using the shot again. Didn't really accept that joke in Elden Ring either. Well, I tolerated it. Differ that's the difference, really. I never laughed at it because, you know, I've seen the exact same joke already in Dark Souls games. So it's just like a new take on it. Well, actually, it's the same joke. There wasn't even a new take. Uh, what we got to do with, deal with here? Yeah, bird guy over there, regular monster right here. Rid this land Blow his head off. Let's be methodical, chat. 
Metho can you sp sp spill methodical? What if Dart's one and only message ever received way uh, very charitable? I got a few likes from it. I remember I got healed randomly a few times. Yeah, I never realized the power, but I can actually run a spelling bee in chat. But then again, you guys would be able to cheat because you can just use spell check. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be the best idea. And now I'll use that potion. Hmm, good liquor. Wish you could get more than one use out of it, though. Alright, how much... Uh, I'll get most of my health back. I think I'll need to use some bandages, too. You're a back snack time. Make sure you report back to us on what kind of snacks you have, because everyone will be very curious. Food culture, you know. Hmm. Alright, time to move on. I'm healed up. Got spitters over there. Oops, just opened up my Windows key. I don't know how that happened, I thought I had that sit disabled. Oh. Did he not see me? I'm being stuck. I'm being silent because stealth sequence. Really, I can't pick those up. Stop that. Why does it keep happening? Alright. <clears throat> Box guy there. Another spitter over there. The spitter is a bigger threat. Nothing more stealthy than a loud house revolver. Well, I am fighting the undead. They probably don't have very good hearing. And usually they're dead once the bullet goes through their, you know, their skull. Oh, crap. Hmm. And I got no more silver bullets, so it'll take a few shots to bring down the bird guy. Actually, no, just one headshot will do him. As long as there's a prize. There's a bow in this game, but it's on. Yeah, I could have grabbed the bow, but I didn't want to spend money on it because I figured I'd eventually find one. I was stunned. I did. Well. I hear things. <laughs> Why must we kill our enemies in this game? Because they're monsters. Is that not enough reason for you? Do you acquire your know, more ludo narrative dissidents, possibly? Oh, fuck. Good. Move, move, move. Can't fight a shotgun lady in there. Bad idea. It's all very bad, actually. Oh, for fuck's sake. I 
put on my back right. Why are women so invulnerable to bullets? I can hear my neighbor's kid screaming a whole lot. I hope it's in fun. I was kind of thinking it was actually in the game for a bit, but I don't begin to think, no, it's not the case. Oh, fuck. Uh, shit. Should be thinking me. I freed him from the box. Oh. All right, let's use up my supply of bandages because I can't really take much more damage. Worst thing you can tell that kid is you, he's like two years old, so I don't think you'd understand what I do as a for a, what the whole idea of making a living is about. That should do. Maybe I would actually inspire him once he gets old enough to become a, a, a professional gamer himself. It's not a bad line of work if you can get into it. Oliver's always remind me of Nero because he has that weapon, really just because of that one reason. What about your giant gas-powered swords? Who? Who? What? What? What bastard shot me? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's someone else up there who shot me last time. Those don't exist yet, I think, maybe? What? What doesn't exist? Why is the sky in the game perpetual darkness? Because it's creepy. That's why. It's meant to be like, you know, the things that go bump in the night, so there won't be any daytime. Stay down. Yeah, I don't think you'll be seeing daytime in this game. The whole idea is like, you know... We're in like the hellish west. Plus, that would mean that would mean more rendering. They'd have to like change their developments, their graphics a little bit, which might cost money. Nero's motor gas sword. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I never understood what that was doing actually. Like, what does he do when he revs his sword? It's like the same. Whenever they add like a new feature to a sword, I'm always like, well, what does this do to it? Like, what does a gun blade do? What does a gas powered sword do? Is it really just like there for like? It's there to make it look cool, but it doesn't really actually have any function that I can tell. It just seems like it'd make the sword unwieldy and heavy, but you know what? Anime characters, they gotta have, you know, style points. Increasing the cutting... How... The only thing that increases cutting power is your, your, the weight of the blade and your, the edge. Not how much gas you put in it. Also, do you think Nero gets really upset when the price of gas spikes? It's like, man, I really... It's really... It takes me $50 to fill up my sword. <laughs> you can believe that bullshit? I'm voting Republican next time. <laughs> $50 to fill up a sword. I've never heard such nonsense. <laughs> Question that yet you done with Jetstream Sam having a stealth gun? Having a sheath gun? Well, I can actually understand the idea of a sheath that has like an air cartridge in it that could shoot, that could like force the blade out faster. That's actually, I mean, probably not very practical, but it is actually explainable without, you know, making my mind, you know, wrap its sound around reality. Maybe the demon slaying business is high paying job. Have you seen how Dante lives? He can barely pay the bills. He lives off a diet of pizza. I will need that. Got a Winchester, huh?
This would have been nice to have while I was killing everything up close and personal before, but you know what? There's still something down there we can do. Nero is, is more successful than Dante. He's more. He's got a house and he's got a wife, so I'm guessing Neo Kyrie uh, keeps him on the straight and narrow. Unlike Dante, he doesn't have a woman in his life. So he's always like frivolously spending his money he makes. But Kyrie's like, uh uh, we gotta put that head for the the kids' college education. You can't go buying new motorcycles. Yeah, Dante has always been a guy who's like in a permanent like midlife crisis, even when he was twenty. Takes like two jobs a year. Well, that might be an indication that it's not a very good line of work. If you don't, if you find so little. Right. Who can we shoot in here from up here in safety? Oh, for fuck. Scum of the yard. Getting slightly annoyed by things trying to sneak up on me. In anime, which is Ken, he get calls all the time about low level demons, but could only. that could be taken out by regular humans, and he was like, nah. Boring. Well, yeah, well, he's gotta have an exciting life, you know. But also, I'm not, I don't really care what the anime does, to be honest with you. I only care what's mentioned in games. Shit. I like the Winchester. Forget how Dante lives. How does Virgil go on when he don't see him or eat, drink, and Devil May Cry 3? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you shouldn't really try to think think how the canon works in Devil May Cry. It doesn't matter. Winchester and bone knife combo was my go-to. Early, I'm using I mean, like the Winchester is probably gonna be like a weapon I keep for a while since it, you know, it's just the same as a pistol, but you get more range and you get more shots. Death. Just death. Endless death. Also, the problem is Dante doesn't market himself well. I like how we're. I, I mean, I appreciate that we're all thinking about this economically, and you know how do you? But how do you market demon slaying and get people to take it seriously? <laughs> Pretty sure that's a very niche market. Like they only like they only get like what a major demon you know you know Armageddon every like couple of years, and it's all isolated to one event, and then Dante works for free to do it. I heard someone say I think someone said before that Dante makes his money by selling all like the devil arms he gets over the course of like his big missions, and then he like that's all he does. That's why he doesn't have them at the start of the next game. After four demon invasions, do you really think humans would be like demons are fake? I mean. They never seem like they're that prepared for it, if you noticed. Hmm. I guess we can sell that. There's a demon, we cream him. Mmm. Yeah, that is a tagline, but. I don't know if it's one you'd actually want to go with. Maybe a few more revisions of it. Yeah, okay, this oh, this leads off to someplace interesting, huh? I'm not done exploring the fort yet. Good morning, AI guy. How you doing tonight, man? Hope you had a good night, or a good day, or a good morning, whatever it is for you.
It was nice to ask questions. That's how you learn. Never feel bad about asking a question. Hey, BJ, you have a good night, man. You could never have too much of those. I will never expire. Pardon? What the? Oh, oh. Hey, her boobs can absorb a lot of bullets. I'm getting a little low on ammo here. Uh, I'll probably need to sell that as I... Uh, I'm gonna need money, so... It... It's really horrible. I mean, the... Well... Maybe just... Uh... Uh, they're just do this tanky all over. We can't really equate all of it to the breasts. Because I, I, I have it on good account that it hurts like hell to get y'all hit there. Just that part of video game unrealism, you know. From who? From who do you think? Women I know. What does it two thirds skulls mean? That's a curse. Uh, as you die in this game, every time you die, you get you start on a new line of curse for yourself. Good and once you have three deaths in a row, you have the full curse. So it's basically a, a debuff, and you have to do something special activity to remove it. Uh, but there's a bunch of different curses in the game as well, so you can have multiple curses at once as well. Uh, I'm back, and I had a nice ham sandwich, though I was expecting pizza. Oh, you know what? Ham sandwich ain't too bad, you know. I wouldn't complain over that. Only hurts depending on the angle head on. Yes, from the side, less painful. I have to remember that piece of information then. Wonder why the angle matters so much though. I guess it depends on where it's like you're hitting you in the actual bone, the rib cage, and it's like knocking your breath out. Then maybe that's the reason. Do you apply head on? I don't go around punching women in their tit. <laughs> Usually, it's not. It's looked down upon on by society. Oh, that's a bad room. This land of you. Before we grab that, let's see what else is around here. I need stuff, and these guys have it. That repeater kind of sexy, this, you know, this thing, yeah, this is the best gun I got right now. It runs off pistol ammo, but somehow it does more damage, so I'm not sure how that works. I mean, someone needs to tell them that, you know, shooting the same bullet out of a different, you know, gun won't make the bullet do more damage. It might make it more accurate by, depending on, you know, how the, bullet, the barrel's rifled, but bullet is still the same. Just like in Fallout 3 with 10 millimeter ammo in a, in a repeater. You know, we, we, we cut them some slag on that. Alright, give me that skull. Should take this item to the totem or skulls. Right, before I do that though, let me check out that other like path I found. Yesterday you went to the Natural History Museum and my one year old niece refused to let me go off by myself. She came and got me when I did. Wait, was your one-year-old niece leading you? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Like, I'll... No, can I, like... Listen, honey, can I explore the museum by myself for once? Nah, nah. Hmm. I think I ever checked this room. Yeah, let's... I gotta check this room out. Oh, playing card. What's this tale? Let's put these to good use. Here's so many footsteps.
Oh shit. 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 I'm a missing. Fuck. That was an awkward fight. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave soon. I got no more bullets. Uh, which of the shotguns since it is close range? Mm. Actually, because my inventory is so fucked right now, I can't switch up anything. Tried to fake her out by pretending to follow her, then sneaking off, but she noticed and sat down on the stairs and refused to move. Then afterward, we, she made me hold her hand when we walked. So you were literally trying to abandon your one-year-old niece in a, in a strange place, is what I'm getting from this? Like, yeah. Yeah, I gotta be on my own. Can't be held down by the kids. Let me just leave here. It's a museum. Who's gonna kidnap a, girl, a child in a museum? It's a, you know, it's a calming place. Your dad was with her. Oh, why don't you have to ruin the, the good joke I had going? <laughs> with logic. Just go with it next time, alright? Just go with it. Make yourself sound like an hero. Not your kid, not your problem. That's the spirit. No one needs to be held to such rules of society as, hey, look after kids. Unless they're cute, or yours. Oh, fuck. That was actually almost like a legitimately good jump scare. Have down here. Mm, this, I probably don't have enough bullets for dealing whatever's down here, though. The jump scares don't scare you that much anymore. And most of the time, they don't, unless they're really well done and I'm not expecting it at all. But generally, if I'm playing a lot of game that's meant to be scary, I kind of already expect a jump scare. So that's one of the reasons they don't usually get me. Oh, it's one of those things. Shit. Yeah, I don't have the ammo, I think, or the health to really deal with that thing. Unless I were to just sit down and wait for my health to refill from, like, my little thing I have. Uh, but actually, instead of that wasting time doing that, let's go back and continue exploring. Time for the axe on that thing. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Kind of have to use the axe on these things, but I can't switch to the axe though with this gun in my hand. <laughs> Wasting ammo now. I think we'll go sell all of our stuff and come back here. Like maybe deal with the big guy. I need to go buy ammo too. As long as I don't die, I don't have to worry about enemies respawning. They're making me want to play Revenant, huh? There's only so many Western-themed games out there. don't like in games chat that they use a stamina system to limit me from sprinting when I'm just trying to travel. Uh, let me Good sell my stuff walking. first. 
It's a horrible thing to say to your potential customer, you know. Silver cup, uh, travel pen well. Playing card, increased chance of getting loot from monsters, huh? Maybe we'll use that better loot for card. Alright, and we also don't need this rusty shotgun or this rusty ass pistol. There we go, money made. Uh, I will buy a potion from you, sir. I think sprinting meter should only be a mechanic when you're fighting. Some games actually do that, but this one... I think this one does it too, but then it gets confused and if I'm near an enemy. This is making me want to play the Wild West part of Duke Nukem Zero. Hour. Did you guys hear about the Duke Nukem uh, Forever, the original, like, 2000, like, 1 or something, like, version of the game was, like, leaked recently? Like, most of it isn't playable, but it is out there. And, and like, I just remember some people were, like, losing their mind over that because they've been waiting to actually get their hands on it for, like, many, many moons. Feathers go there. Let's go here. That there as well. Rearrange some stuff. Uh, what is this? Actually, I don't really need this revolver. Let's sell that one. Let's see, do that. Yes, danger. There we go. All right, and now the give this to this thing. We hear buzzing of great evil nearby. We are certain this skull is the thing that started the townfall and gave way to the birth of the curse. When the soldiers of the fort were building a new well, they found this skull, and they gave it to the colonel, who liked such oddities and old artifacts. He didn't even realize when the skull started whispering into his mind. They found the gold under the fort, thanks to these whispers. And thus the way to the curse has been opened wide. You want to attempt a 100% FF7 remake? I mean, it's pretty doable. Uh, good luck to you on that one. I think you have to beat it in hard mode, though, right? Unmistakable stench of stale dead air. And something else much more disturbing. It must be the mines. Go and search what's hidden within. Anything else? Hmm. Alright, bury the golden skull into the tunnel of skulls. Alright, so now the mines are over this way. Hmm. Alright, so I've been to the I've been to the town, I've been to the tower. Been to the fort. The mines, I'm guessing the last two places in the, the current game will be the burial grounds and the farm. Alright, sounds good. Check my inventory out again. Uh, definitely need to stop and see the other trader and get more ammo because I am hurting on it. But thankfully, we're heading that direction. Sweet southern licks. I mean, I mean, what does that mean, though? All we need is a little chicken. You know what? Chicken, good. Heck of a statement, I know. But I just wanted to make it. Get my voice out there. It's a miss. Can't believe that's a miss. Okay, I really need ammo though. Though so, we'll spin bullets to get tongues. To rest. A lick is a run on the guitar, just a sequence of notes. Uh, see, I'm not a music guy, and that stuff is lost on me. 
that. So what do we want to use? What do we want to level up? Swift fingers, uh, adrenaline rush. Damage is increased 200% for melee when HP drops below that tough guy. Increases max HP by 25%, huh? There's a chance for those to miss. Practicing. Increase healing from bandage by one. Or okay, that might be pretty good because I get a lot of bandages. And yeah, we'll go with that. And then what? With melee weapon in hand, stamina regenerates faster by 50%. Uh, only that's with only a melee weapon, huh? Oh, uh, we'll go with the gold prospector, I think. More money. Do ropes act as ladders in this game? I have to assume they do, right? Yeah, they do. Not very good ones, though. I was getting stuck trying to go down this one. Like, you won't go down. Oh well. Hmm. So our next objective is the miner. Oh, actually, I have to get to the mine over that way. Actually, we can get from no. We have to get from here. I think. Uh, we'll see. I need to stop by the trader. This reminded me of New Vegas a little bit. Uh, well, the desert atmosphere maybe. Where's the trader at again? There's something on Whoa, about. you're a little close. But you don't seem to bite my face off. I guess you can stay here. Nothing, pile. Maybe going insane. Listen, there really isn't much to say. You certainly figure this place ain't normal or safe. Don't expect a warm welcome from the locals. He's just showing me that he's taller than me. <laughs> you know stuff, you can I feel, I feel you you know, dominated. <laughs> and also, I'm choking on tea. You're on good track. There's an old burnt church around here, and that's already quite nasty. This is the guy that had the good stuff. Uh, let's see. He had the, like the better Winchester. Actually, that's the same Winchester. Yeah, he's got that one. Drunk Master. Resistance to melee and range attacks increased by 25%. If drunk, weapon damage is increased by 25%. Drunk each missed shot costs 15 stamina. Huh? It doesn't sound like it's a good buff. Uh, Orbit 90 damage. A spirit increased by 50%. Enemies killed by this weapon give extra 5% experience. Represent faster reload, but I can't afford it. So, for now, we got this. Max stamina increased by that. Hmm, let's buy his ammo. Hmm, I do, I do need... I would like another potion, but those are pricey. Moose all cursed soul flaws. Uh, damage received from ethereal attacks increased by 350 for 15 seconds. Mm, reminds me a bit of Jonah Hex. That seems. What is? What do I know that from? Is that like one of those old? It's like an old piece of entertainment, right? You thought that this guy was hostile when he ran after you? Yeah, uh, well, you must have not been here last night. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna buy anything else from this guy other than maybe the dynamite. Oh, I do have one stick of dynamite already. Let me sell this real quick. Hmm. By the dynamite. Does I ever get a potion and three bandages plus two more and I recently buffed my bandages? I think I'm good. Hold off spending any more money. Alright, to the mines we go. One thing I do need to do though is. Unstock the ammo from that so I can use it in the, that. Let me put this away. Can I put the shot? Yeah, we can put that there. Much better. Um, 
much better. But Josh Brolin and Megan Fox in it, and it bombed. You know what? I kind of forgot that Megan Fox was even a thing. I appreciate. Well, to be fair, that's mainly because she got screwed over by the Hollywood and they like blacklisted her. But kind of just what has she done recently? Does anyone know? Missed. That was like six years ago, and all those garbage. All the, the yeah, I remember she like said something about a movie, and then Steven Spielberg. I think it's like literally Steven Spielberg and a bunch of other directors like, yo, fuck her, blacklist her ass. Blood. Drink Machine Gun Kelly's blood. She. Oh, okay. Uh, was it a good role? <laughs> he dated Machine Gun Kelly. Is that the guy that Eminem tore a new one with like a rap video? Or is that someone else I'm thinking of? I just remember the last bit of news I heard from Eminem, Eminem was him releasing like a diss track on some other rapper and it like was pretty brutal. Three tongues on this guy, huh? They just love the taste of each other's blood. My, are they seriously drinking each other's blood or is this some like joke I'm not aware of? I think this is the mines I need. Oh, oh, I got here. I saw something in there. Oh, that's sneaky. I will need that. What else do we got? I can, I can probably kill a lot of these dudes from up here, actually. But let's look around for more possible supplies. It's real. She also thinks she manifested him into existence at the age. Of, okay, that sounds like one fucked up, weird, re real relationship. <laughs> Is, are they like Scientologists now or something? I'm not really sure what that, what's gotten into them. <laughs> have you seen the new Bond game demo Project 007? Uh, I have not. Is it an actual legit game or a fan project or something? The only thing I know about a current Bond game in work is that it's being made by the same people who make the Hitman games. At least for a minute now we're talking about well, no we're talking about specific Hollywood hot Hollywood actresses and you'll kind of like middling rappers drinking each other's blood and practicing like new age religion. Didn't Megan cut Fox cut a hole in her dress so they could have? I don't know why. Why are you asking me for chat for confirmation? Like, didn't she do this? Let's think about a dress. You don't need to cut it apart. It's a it's a dress. I think that's just ruining a good dress if so. There's a cave down there too, huh? Interesting. Miners give a lot of gold too. What do we have in here, gentlemen? How come I can't have like a crazy girlfriend with like weird religious practices? <laughs> the best kind of girlfriend. Oh shit. Oh. Shit. Guys, you got tracers loaded into a six shooter. Welcome here. Cause I'm boring. Well, I'm I'm a you know, I'm not boring. You're boring. <laughs> Yeah, whatever the child you'll approach there, I know. Sitting right here, true. But you don't have, like, weird religious practices. Or do you? Are you seriously that tough because you got some box on you? Doesn't seem fair. Dardigan's not boring. See, someone defended me. Find a Wiccan girl, Dardigan, and she paints symbols on your torso in red paint. You know, that's not true. I've known Wiccans. Ladies, if you want to talk to me right now, I'll be fucking surprised. Ladies, if you want to talk to me, find religion. And preferably uh, something unusual with it. 
Just so, you know, I can have interesting conversation. <laughs> this is all just bullshit, by the way. I mean, I was in a cult for like three years and my best friend actively... Okay, there we go. That, 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 that'll do. That's a story. Did not know that, though. News information to me. Megan Fox says the blood drinking is for ritual purposes only. Well, I would assume so. I doubt it's like, hey, bae, I'm thirsty. You open up a vein. I bet they got a lot of scars, though, if that's the case. Or do they have, like, a safer pro- Do they have at least have a safe process of doing the bloodletting for their relationship? It's like, you gotta, you know, sanitize it, right? Maybe she has received the dark gift. <laughs> Megan Fox is a vampire, huh? Well, she was a... Didn't she play a role where she she was literally like a vagina dentata monster or something? Maybe that was what she really was. She was giving us all signals. Fuck. Jennifer's body. Yeah, I'm, I never watched it. I just remember hearing like the the synopsis of it. Stay down. Hmm. We got a pretty good vantage point here. Good sniping spot. Speaking of, have you heard any more stuff about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation? No, I haven't paid attention to that at all. I've, I know there's a lot of YouTubers milking it for content, but I could not care less. Wait, did I say that phrase right? Is it I could care less or I, or I couldn't care less? I always get confused. That. Patrick Starr had an appearance in the director's cut of Jennifer's Body. Like I said, I don't really have any interest in the movie. I just remember like... Uh, knowing that it was like someone with a vagina dentata, which is like, you know, nightmare fuel. Couldn't care less, I think, yeah. Could not care less, yeah. There's always, it always gets me like, how do you say that properly without making it actually the opposite of what you're meaning? But I, I've just heard that there's, you know, a lot of like, you know, messed up stuff. And, you know, definitely sounds like Johnny was abused. And, you know, something about crapping in a bed. And other, among other things. Calm down, Mr. Mister. Calm down. I'm not even gonna try with that shot. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Shit. Winging him instead of getting real deep shots. Care if you're wearing wood coffin, a fucking shotgun blast is taking you off your off it. Ugh. She pooped on his pillow and blamed it on his teacup. What message was she trying to send with that? It just seems like such a strange thing to do. Like this will show him. Uh, potion time. Alright, bullets low. Morale high. Human shit looks so much different. Well, I, I'm aware. But, you know, crazy people don't think like us. Or like, you know, whatever she's on. I'm not sure if she's actually, in, you know, insane or just stupid. Or like, blinded by rage. Possibly all three.
I'm just wondering what was the point. Also, hardcore drugs? Well, yes. I never even doubted that for a second. Abusive? Yeah, she just definitely sounds abusive, so... Hopefully, Johnny... I mean... I'm guessing his career is probably still dead, but you know what? At least he'd be vindicated. He, he isn't going to be in, like, the next, like, uh, Harry... Not that it's a bad thing. Not going to be in the next Harry Potter movie. Is he the villain anymore? Okay, they took him out of it. What we got? Good. Note. Uh, this vile being seems to be born from dark magics, fusing bodies of humans and insects. The result is an abomination of horrifying visage that dwells in especially dark places and especially pleased when it can attain a spot giving good vision on the surroundings. When it spots a potential threat or victim, it will launch acid from its deformed mouth... Note to self, find a group of daredevils who, and give them task of retrieving one of these monsters, dead or alive. Fifth section can help me understand how the acid is formed inside the beast and how it achieves its high effectiveness. Note to self number two, come up with a trap to catch this thing as it flees the moment something comes near it and continues to spit acid whenever it feels safe enough. Save enough? Save enough, huh? Two hunting groups have vanished already. I can't afford spending more on such foolish labor. He was already replaced by Mads Mikkelsen. How are they going to explain that in the movie? Did he use a polyjuice potion or something? It's like, why do you... Well, I guess they did the same thing with Dumbledore when he died, so... I guess they don't even have to explain it. Like, yeah, just, you know, it's just what he looks like. It's what he always looked like, don't question it. He just shows up, Yeah, he's like, yeah, just, no, no word on it. He's like, no, it's just me. Get used to it. Hmm, okay, nothing here. Just walks into frame and Dumbledore's like, Ah, oh, my old lover who is now a wizard Nazi. <laughs> is that the exact line? I like that we're talking about Harry Potter right now, because it gives me an opportunity to talk about my favorite new YouTube video that I was exposed to recently. Uh, how many of you have seen Goblet of Fire? Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Specifically the scene where like Dumbledore just like goes into a rage because he thinks Harry's like, uh, you know, put his name into the Goblet of Fire. And he's like, <clears throat> he just literally, literally just comes in like shaking him like right up in his face. Uh, but if you read the book of Goblet of Fire, you know that's not exactly accurate. <laughs> because in there it's like Dumbledore asked calmly. <laughs> Someone put together a video of it on YouTube where it's like they literally revoiced it and the, and the guy's literally like, Harry, Harry Potter, you piece of shit. It will end up, you know, softer English voice. Did you put your motherfucking name in the Goblet of Fire? Answer me! At 50 million points to Slytherin! And <laughs> curse you! Oh, and Harry's like, no sir, no, no. And then it's like, at the end it's like, I know I'm doing not doing this video justice by explaining it, but it just has to be done. <gasps> then it ends with like the, like, Dumbledore asked calmly. Oh, crap. You know, go watch it yourself. Just type in Dumbledore asked calmly into YouTube. You'll get the proper version of it. I like. I just like the idea of the Dumbledore ass calmly being like a, a you know a spicy, spicy new meme. You could put use that so many places. Uh, do you know anything of the game Rogue Warrior? Yes, I'm aware of it, and I know there's a lot of swearing involved, and it's also based off bullshit from some writer guy who claimed, well, some Navy SEAL guy who claimed he's basically a you know, cold warrior of superhero. I've seen a playthrough of it actually by uh, some people I watch, and it's like yeah, it's just mainly like. Fucking call me, call me, fucking mother, fucking call me, fucker, mother, my <laughs> left and life, and the you know, the narrator, the guy voicing everything. That shit show of a game. Well, no, it's somewhat amusing just for how like stupid it is, I guess. Just watch the video hard. Oh, it's good stuff, isn't it? How many type, ammo types are over there for this rifle? Because I've got four. Let me t do a 
do a check. Or, well, let's see, you got flammable ammo, huh? We got the regular short ammo, and then the golden short ammo. Eh, we'll just do the regular two shots. Just watch it. I'm glad everyone is even exposed to it now. It's good stuff. Pretty sure they actually took the end Dumbledore asked calmly from the audiobook. Flaming ammo is not very good. I'm now down to using my... Go I'm going to have to switch to, like, using the shot, you know, because I don't have much ammo left for the, the rifle. Watch it. Yeah, I I've probably given this video, like, a bunch of extra views all of a sudden. Have you read any Tad Williams yet? Tad Williams? I don't think I have, no. That would have made me like Harry the Harry Potter movies, what the way they voiced it there. Yeah, that definitely would have improved it. I feel if Dumbledore is just like a, an angry sort, instead of just always favoring yo Potter, which is not a good thing to do if you're a teacher. By the way, have, is have a favorite student like that. A bit bullshit if you're anyone but Harry Potter. You know what? Snape had the right idea. He didn't treat Harry as special at all. He's like, no, Potter, you're just you're worthless. You're actually not even the very good student. My wife's now your fucking mouth, Will said calm. You see, it works. There's so many places you could use this at. I might add Dumbledore said calmly as a sound as a soundboard entry. Good ammo. Neighbor's a piece of shit? No, no, he's fine. There's a reason most people acknowledge Snape as like being the best character in that entire series. That's because he doesn't spend the entire series like just fawning over Harry Potter. Who honestly isn't that great of a character. Sorry, had to say it. Always do with some more bullets. He's one of those main characters who's actually not very good in the rest of the. Oh, where he like so. Oh, fuck. Don't be sorry. Chasing me, lady. Good. If someone changed with the book because I always understood him to be an incel who? Harry Potter? No, I don't think there was any incels in Harry Potter. I don't remember that character. Harry Potter and the Hatred of Women. No, that was never a book. I don't remember that one. Hey, Ron. You know what I really hate? What, Harry? Fucking Hermione. Always banging those chads, those your European, your Eastern European chads. What not you see him guys like that, huh? What's wrong with like people like us? Uh, I, I, I don't know, Harry. Uh, are you okay? Is everything all right, Harry? Go, let's go down to Hogsmeade and get some, you know, some, uh, you know, what is it, butter beer? Yeah, maybe work, work this problem out you've got going on for yourself. Take it. Take it all. Give me the ammo. 
Harry Potter is your least favorite protagonist from any book besides Bella from Twilight? I mean, I can definitely think of worse characters than Harry Potter. I'm just thinking he's, you know, compared to other characters in the books, he's like the least interesting. Harry Potter and the Loaded Chamber. Harry Potter and the 4chan forum, I don't know. I like the idea of Harry Potter's being an incel now. It is kind of amusing. <laughs> you tried Butterbeer? The, the name isn't appealing. Harry Potter is... No, Harry Potter is not a Gary Stewart. That's not true. Not true. I have to at least defend it against that, that notion. Guys get sexually excited over finding bullets. He's like, oh, good. Let's use up some of my bandages. I need more health. Harry Potter is definitely an everyman and not really super talented per se. Well, really, he's not talented at all. He's just like average in terms of like magic use. It's just that he has like a very special uh, uh, event in his life. The only thing he was apparently good at was the old Quidditch. And how- you're gonna make a career out of Quidditch, come on. No one plays that past high school. Or whatever it is. Whatever- I don't guess they have high school there, whatever it is. They have a weird education system. Here's a question for any like- the, Why would anyone ever send their kids to Hogwarts during all that? After every year, there is basically what equates to a school shooting. <laughs> like, would you send your kid to the same school every- After, like, the first two years where, like, a horrible tragedy took place? Like, every year, it's like, well, you know what, we're going to homeschool you this year, sweetie. <laughs> we're not going to send you back to Hogwarts. It doesn't seem safe. He's a rich kid. Well, he, he well, yeah, he, he was a rich kid, but he didn't really, you know, took a while to actually for the money to get to him. Also, pretty shitty in their system, by the way. Like, oh, yeah, you have all this money, but uh, you know what, go live under the stairs. They had less and less students every year. Yeah, but I think they would have, like, none after at least, like, the third year. Like, the second year alone, there was, like, a bunch of kids getting turned into stone by a freaking like, basilisk. And the first year, like, Voldemort literally showed up on one of the teachers. Let me go up there, let's see what's done this way. I think the only time they ever thought about shutting down the school was the year it was, like, the giant snake was... Yeah, I mean, they should have. Clearly some unknown shit was going on. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Maybe they could have done like the Harry Potter classes through like Zoom calls like we had to. Oh, Harry, t turn on your computer. It's time to join the Zoom class for like your your potions and your other stuff. You know, they, they have to upgrade too. Okay, what do we do within that thing? Uh, I think I'm going to use dynamite on that. Where'd he go? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, was it enough? Oh, fuck, there's monsters in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, he can't fit in here. Oh, he can't. He can't. He can totally fit in here. Okay, he's dead now, though. No. I'm alive, and I got ectoplasm. It gives 20% chance of enemy range attacks to miss. Good, I live. Uh, potion me up, though. Actually, I've got I've got a bunch of bandages on me. We'll use those up first. Tell me for 20 now. Hell though. A new clip in Discord Harry Potter and the Hatred of Women. You like that one, huh? I've seen many Harry Potter parodies out there. I remember, I, I've, literally, like, they began, like, instantly. I remember seeing the first ones back on Newgrounds. It was like Harry Potter and, like, the old, uh, I think the first. 
Maybe it's still up on Newgrounds. I don't know if anyone's ever been to Newgrounds. There's like a famous one there. It's like Harry Potter and the old, you know, smoking weed because smoking weed funny. Really? God damn it, you got a tight hitbox, girl. I do have a, hel a helmet on, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, that's what I needed. Take this to a totem of souls. My inventory is about maxed out. Did you ever play the Sega game Haunting starring Polter Polter Guy? It's an amazing game where you are a ghost setting up ghost. I have never even heard of it. I'm, I'd be. I've, yeah, I've never heard of this game. It's got a yo, a strange title, the old haunting starring it literally says the title is starring Poultry Guy. So Okay, let's check around and see if there's anything else left here I can like get this is a big cave system. Yeah, when I, but keep in mind, when I was a kid, I didn't get to play a lot of games because poverty. I really only get to play games if I could borrow them from friends, or like during Christmas, I'd get like a new game, maybe. Most of the games I, I played didn't begin to like the PlayStation generation of games. When I actually... Family situation was somewhat improved, and eventually I got like a summer job. But even then, honestly, I wouldn't say I became like a true gamer until like the PS2 generation. That's when I actually was like able to like buy my own games. Hmm, okay. Oh ghosty boy over there. That'll come in here. Wish these gold nuggets stacked instead of each individual at one taking up a spot. Each one taking up a slot, but there's plenty of other items that stack, like these tongues I keep finding on monsters. Those stack up to five. It's gonna be a very you know, good run for money. Uh, need that. Keep expecting the main character to say something from blood. I mean, it's clearly inspired by it. But, uh, maybe they do will eventually. This is early access, by the way. Yeah, I saw a bird guy on here, so y'all you know, can be careful. Where am I at? Okay, right here. I guess I can finish exploring the mine over here, then we can go turn in my new stuff. What is the point of this game? To end like a curse upon this land. By getting out... Apparently there's like this cursed gold that was found that by some, you know, general. And it's cursed the land, you know, and like full of undead now. So we're finding it piece by piece and burying it under a totem so it like cleanses it a little, I guess. Isn't the idea? I think I like raided like, raid this place completely. 
What's Beyond Good and Evil about? Never played? Uh, well, I don't want to. I might end up playing it if I can never get it to work properly, so I don't want to spoil it too much. But it's like, uh, it's a bit of a space drama, but you don't really go into space in it, though you were it was originally the plan, but they didn't have the budget for it, so you stick to one planet. Uh, but you play as a photographer, yeah, you know, photographer who has a judo club stick thing she uses, and uh, you fight. You try to like, expose the corruption of like the planet you're on, that it's in league with some aliens and stuff. Essentially. And you do that by actually doing journalism somewhat. And you're hitting monsters with a stick. And you have an uncle who's a pig. I should also point that out. It's full of like, of your animal friends. But it's actually a pretty good game. I like. Unfortunately, there's like no version of it either on Steam or on uh, you know, uh, what is it, Epic that will run properly. So I'm still trying to like get it to run properly before I play it. French free. Well, there's there's many. You know, well, there's a. If you saw the uh, the CG trailers for the supposed sequel that we ne will probably never get. Uh, the, the, apparently it's a sadder story while there was all these animal people there. They were like s space slaves, essentially. Uh, West of Loathing Sin video win. Uh, that's a Stickman game, right? I don't, I don't know much about it, so I don't, probably never. <laughs> Had to use a Pakistani GameCube when I streamed it? Yeah, I probably would have to as well. Because all the versions of it you can actually buy just don't you function properly. Like, I bought I bought the Steam one, which won't even launch. So I bought the Epic version of it. And it'll launch, and it plays, but it's, like, chugging along for, like, really low frame rates. And it doesn't have controller support either. Indigo Prophecy? I've already done that. Yeah, that exists. It's one of the, that's, like, one of the first ones I send, actually. Of course, it's under the video. I think I used the title of Fahrenheit rather than Indigo Prophecy, so maybe you, just, you didn't see it there. Because it's known by two of our names. We got this is one of my older videos, though it probably sucks. Dead man walking. All right, yeah. Well, maybe dead man, but I'm about to like fill you up on shit. Give me all the money. Oh, I don't need this note either. All right. Uh, I'll keep the rum. All right, there we go. Oh, one more of these. And the feathers. All right, we're rocking a lot of money now. Gold always breeds greed and attracts evil. Ah, the curse at gold itself. Was it tainted by the dark from the very beginning, or did it obtain its evil nature by other means? We don't know. <clears throat> what we know is that it used to lure mortals, corrupted by greed, into the darkest parts of the old mines, leading them to their deaths. Imagine that. A glint of gold in the dark. You follow it, and either you fall into a deadly pit, the roof falls on your head, or something as terrible happens. And never again could you catch even the glimpse of that accursed gold. That's it. You have given us enough of the wickedness you have gave us to enough discover all. the root of the curse. Yes, indeed. We can almost chase the filth. Your goal lies deep underground. Search it in the canyon and take this. 
This will allow you to enter the hidden place that is home of the evil. But there's more corrupted gold in this land. If you manage to find all of it, we will be able to help you in a more substantial way. It's your decision to make whether you will continue or face the evil now. There's something foul in the ancient burial site near the town. Tread lightly. Anything else? Didn't I get that one already? I feel like I got that one. Spirits won't reveal anything new. Uh, would I... Uh, would I ever travel to the Amazon to meet a shaman to drink Aya... Ayahuasca tea? Uh, probably not. It seems like a lot to do. Can I can make my way to the great evil or continue bringing more cursed items? I live in Evil East now. It seems pretty boring. B boring, I mean. Search the burial site. I mean, I, I know where the burial site is, but I did not. Did I really not find the gold there? That's where that the burial site was like over here, right? Oh no, the burial grounds. Okay, never mind. All right, we'll go to the burial grounds next. But uh. I mean, isn't that just like the tea that makes you high or something? I mean, that's a lot of work to go get a, a unique high. I, you can just take DMT without going to Brazil, you know. All right, let me store all these gold coins. Hey, what is this? Key to the secret? Oh, that's for the door. What does this stuff do? Chance of enemy range attacks to miss. Eh, we might use that later. I have actually more stuff I need to sell to the guy. Bunny girls and thongs, though. Uh, you can get those here in our reality. Dead man walking. Good. Don't smoke spice. Yeah, you might. There's a chance you might turn into the yo know, that guy from Dune. You don't want that happening, because then you become a terrorist. And you get weird blue eyes. You know, I wonder if they took the idea of, like, Ma uh, Mako from, like, Resident Evil, I mean, Re Final Fantasy VII that gives you glowing blue eyes if you take too much of it from Dune. Paul's a villain? Not really, but... Uh, I wouldn't call him a good guy either, from what little I know about him. Well, mainly it's a descendant. I mean, his descendants really become, like, the emperor of, your know, space and, like, do some fucked up shit. But I'm sure he's a nice boy. His grandma likes him. Hey, how are you uh, doing also as a Wild West game with cowboys and damsel in stress type games or just killing demons? So far, I'm just killing demons. Haven't met us. The only ladies I've met in this game have been demons that I also kill. When I am done with this place, he always gets so close to me. Santa Fe. Nothing, pile. There's something odd about you. Right, you don't have... Uh, okay, you don't have any more bullets. I'm going to sleep maybe. Maybe you'll have like new stock. Or you only get stuck when I when I when he die when I die, I don't know. Bring to bed. Jim, you have a good eye, man. Keep your eyes out. One. Yeah, they only get like new st okay, he's got some bullets here. They only like restock a lot of stuff after you die once. There is this pistol though I could buy. But I'm not really using the pistol anymore since I got the you know, the West Winchester rifle. In fact I sold my other pistol because that's so much better. <laughs> Hmm, I'll just hold on my money for the time being. But, uh, let's see, 60 dollars for that, we're under for the potion. Uh, we'll buy another potion. And wood dynamite. 
first I thought you was playing Red Dead Redemption 2, of course. I'm playing that game as well, and it's pretty good. Yeah, I played it, did a video on it. It's really good, actually. Highly recommend, you know. Too bad they never came out with a story-based DLC for it. It's stuck not only to multiplayer. Game, really. I did a bad day. Doctor, you have a good night as well. Hope you all have a good night's sleep, and you'll know, you'll wake up uh, still alive. Was that a weird thing to say? Uh, don't mess around with psychedelics, but I did back when I played Mass Effect 2 and the space exploration blew your mind. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I can imagine it would make a video game a little bit more intense. Uh, like I said, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't mind trying to cycle bin once in my life, but only that, and only like once. That's though it's mainly because it's Mr. Bear. <coughs> Increase like, you know, creativity somewhat. And it's apparently being studied for treating other things like depression and everything else. Now let's check out the farm first before we go anywhere else, into the next one. Ammo am I currently using? Oh, yeah, I'm using the... Uh, the mm. Mm. Need to use short ammo. First Red Dead, yeah, but they've kind of like abandoned doing story-based DLC in favor of focusing on more multiplayer. Mushrooms are kind of fun. Yeah, I mean that's really where cyclobin comes from, though, isn't it? Too much as it messes with your brain, you'll think you're cold and breathing. Yeah, well, that's what any drug does to you usually. <laughs> it was like mess with your head. Well, it's not a good idea to really get into it, because you might end up liking them too much. Beautiful. That's how good your hair is. I think I had a dream. Or was it a what an unfortunate death pose over the chair. I like to experiment more with them, and I'm convinced if pot were legal, I wouldn't drink as much as all. Uh, I don't know. No, it's hard to say. But I've done. I, I, I would say it's not a good idea to experiment. I've known plenty of people who thought they could handle it, and they definitely ended up becoming addicts. Just remember, like I can handle them, and don't worry. Is what every addict always, and every future addict always tells himself. I tried shrooms three times, and the one time I did a lot and saw hi hieroglyphic covered fire whenever I closed my eyes. Like, indescribably beautiful, huh? You guys are like doing advertisements for the drugs right now. <laughs> and you'll see some cool shit. I think I'm at the moment I'm finding these old gunslinger legends. I already killed one of them on top of a moving train because I thought I was going. Yeah, I didn't do nearly enough side content in that game since I was still. I was technically still working my full time job at the time, not YouTube. So I only had so much time to play through it, so I kind of had to rush. So all of the cool side content I never got to experience with that game. At some point I need to go back and replay it. Like missing shots, I only got so many bullets. To rest. 
smoke weed links with LSD once, and I saw him apparently chat. I, mean, I didn't notice I had so many, like, y'all, uh, drug users, I guess is the word for it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something nicer way of putting it. Luckily, headshots still kill people. <laughs> Been clean for a decade? Good, stay in the way. Not welcome here. Alright, this, this place is clean now, right? Downside to shrooms, you can't sleep till it's over. Also, a nice word for psychedelic users is psychonauts. Oh, that's where they got the name for that. Well, there is an LSD level in Psychonauts 2, after all. Shouldn't be surprised that's where the word comes from. Did they take the name from the game for that, or did the game the game take the name for the drug users for their game? You know what? This game is making me also want to ki kind of try playing. Uh, that's very similar to this. Uh, it's that, uh... Uh, Hunt, what is it called? Hunt? It's like from the... the, 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 the it's like a western theme game, but you're fighting monsters with a teammate and also other players. Hunt Showdown? Yeah, Hunt Showdown. This, this, I wonder if that inspired this, actually. Well, this is obviously not multiplayer, but the, the very theme is the same. It's not an underground spot. Stay dead. Well, everyone in this place has their own, like, underground, uh, dungeon. Much of those. Red Dead Revolver, well, I've already played Red Dead Revolver, but if I wanted to play through it again, it wouldn't be for a video, it'd just be, like, mainly focusing on side content that I passed over last time. And I'm just sitting there and like slowly enjoying the game. Everyone will be done. To hell. While I play Hunt Showdown, I kind of have a soft spot for the Wild West. I, I kind of like you know, like the theme of like you know, monsters plus Wild West. I'm really hurting for ammo right now though. I think I just found some more Welcome cursed gold. Handy. I, will do that. I think that this wasn't the one I was told to find, but I, I found it already anyways. Yeah, I still need to go to the burial site where the other one was at. I will need that. You can never have too much of those. Monsters and maybe werewolves using old makeshift technology instead of focusing so much on modern tech. Uh, it's usually uh, it's a little easier to tell. Oh, a knife, huh? Oh, easier to tell something spooky if you take it back a few decades. So, modern cell phones and smartphones and internet have made it really hard to be tell horror stories. If you notice, we just have to have a like come up with like an awkward line why phones don't work. Good. Used to be that was just like oh the phone cord was cut, but now it's a entire like nonsense. Every time, every horror movie has to take place out in like somewhere where like, oh, we don't get signals out here. You, you, you've seen that line a lot in movies, haven't you? Oh shit. That's not a good sound. Uh, I might have to switch to my axe for a while. Hmm.
Wait a minute, split the knife. Okay, wait a minute. What's the setting the quarry will use? Looks like out in the wilderness. Oh, I'm shit. I'm fucking dead. What again? Oh, well, we need to come back here, anyways. Yeah, I've already done the church thing. Okay, selling you my shit. Uh, you can have the knife. Mm. Bowler hat? Oh, more alcohol. Uh, everything else I'll keep. All right. Uh, what can, what can we store? Is uh, I'm. <clears> hmm. <throat> see. Uh, alcohol. We don't really need on us. Hmm. Hold on. All right, now we can get rid of the pot. Sorry, you know, just giving me my thoughts. Curse again, are we? Uh. Repulsive, isn't it? This gilded cauldron reeks of human meat. You can imagine the horrors it witnessed. What you probably can't imagine is that it was made by a very proud human being who believed he can make everything out of everything. So he made himself a cauldron that, in time, turned out to be his most comforting belonging. The little golden carvings and details, he added them as he descended into madness before finally cooking human meat in it. If you listen carefully, you may be able to hear anything else. It could be arranged, yes. Let's see. The spirit of Great Cat looks upon you. Kill. All right, all right. I got some bullets. That's good. And I can level up again. Yeah. Also, my grandpa watched a lot of Wild West movies. Uh, th no one really in my family is ever into westerns. I'm not really into western movies or whatever, but western games or everything. Hey, darting. What's up, Iron the King? How you doing? Right, gotcha. What is this? Increase effective distance for headshots by 50%. Uh, deadly precision. When aiming down iron sights, time slows down for 35 seconds. 30%. Eh. Tough guy. HP by 25%. Uh, yes, please. Um, not using air. I'm not drinking either, so I think I'll just hold on to this point. Let's go to the, what is it, up here, the burial grounds. We got something we gotta check out there. And then we can try, like, what is it? There's a deep canyon that separates town and fort from the rest of the world. There must be something. Yeah, no, I've already been to the canyon. <laughs> Weird, that's giving me that objective now. Still poor and funky, but otherwise I'm doing all right. <clears throat> as long as you're keeping your... Uh, your, you know, your positivity, I suppose. Probably isn't the best, you know. I mean, yeah, well, as long as your mental health is there, then you still got a chance, right? I'm bad at giving, like, advice when it's, like, nearly 11 a.m. Or 11 p.m. I wasn't trying to give advice, I was just trying to give, like, positive feelings. 
Ever saw this movie called Cowboys vs. I don't think any, most people will kind of avoid that movie because it sounded dumb. I just know that, uh, you know... I wonder how they got Harrison Ford to do it, though. Like, do you, do you think he read the script? Like, yeah, this looks like something I want to do. Mental health took a hit last year. A lot of people's did, actually. I mean, there's been... Have you seen the stuff going on in China with people being locked up and jumping out of their windows and everything else? Like, crack... <laughs> Talk about mental damage. Severe emotional damage, actually. A DVD? Well, wow. it's weird that now DVD sounds so old to me. Like a DVD, I haven't heard that in many a years. Didn't think this day would come so soon. I thought DVDs would have like a very long life. Hey, you, hey, it's your boy, Dargan, here at the burial grounds. We're gonna look for some some cursed treasure. Uh, come on, see what we find. Also, hit that like button. Subscribe. What about VHS or VSR? We're, like, it's weird because I don't consider VHS or VSR to feel, feel as old as DVDs are. Because DVDs had such a short life, it feels like, before they get replaced by Blu-rays. And then Blu-rays got replaced quick, very quickly after that. With just, you know, when everyone's storing you know, everything digitally. Uh, let's see. maybe let's use the gold ammo on this. This is the burning ammo. What's the hotness scale of that monster? The hotness scale of that monster? Too low poly for it to ever hit more than a 6. Sorry, but you gotta be higher resolution to get the hotness scale. But the only thing that's really got the hotness going on is the prostitute monster. VCR was awesome. Let's be honest, no it wasn't. But you know, the idea, the technology to record something was nice. Quality though was, yo, know, less than stellar. And also, rewinding shit was a pain. But like I was going on right there, like I, I do feel like, like weirdly, maybe just where I grew up, like when I grew up, the like VSR doesn't, v, v, the VHS and VCR doesn't feel as old as Blu-ray and DVD, just because I feel like VCR had a longer lifespan, so it was in people's like mind a lot longer. Like VCR was like, came out in the 70s, right? And they were around for all the, all the 80s and all the 90s, and really up into like the mid 2000s, you could still buy VCRs and, and VHS tips. And it was really only after that they died. And DVDs were only around for like a good couple of years where Blu-rays came around and then Blu-rays have kind of fallen off now as well. So I think that's the reason. Like, VHS just had a longer lifespan. So it feels like it's actually still with you. Sort of like vinyls, I guess. Vinyls, like, you know, people are like doing vinyls again anyways because they're popular, but... Uh, maybe that's why the vinyls don't feel old. It's because people still like them and they're still around other than, and no one buys CDs anymore. But, yo, know, rant over. How do you feel about it? Does it sound like any of that made sense? Yep, I mean, I, th I feel it's solid logic. There's another one of those things over here? Shit. Oh shit, those rounds you use on it. He died quick. 
Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. This is a quote I should recognize. Here we are, my, my treasure. Fuck them coins. Yes, exactly. But why? Also, don't open... <laughs> thank you for the 10,000 waste, I guess. Might as well thank you for that, since what else is it, is it going to be good for you? Looks like a useful little thing. Thing? What did I find? A mystical scalp. Grants additional 30 HP. Increases time of bleeding, but increases chance of bleeding. A more health, but more risk. Alright, we got the... I think that's the last piece of gold, right? I get, oh shit, more? Ah, they're all over the place. Oh! Welcome here. And that fucking skull killed me after I killed everything. A waste. What? Now everyone is redeeming their waste while well, wasting their coin. I mean, hey, there's just that many more people who can never afford good old Persona 5 video. I'll, I proof. You're back. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really get that much to sell you since the last time. I could sell these hearts for a good chunk of money, but. I think I'll hold off on doing that. Actually, we don't need that many, so we'll, I've already got one I'm holding on to, so might as well sell them. Alright. All right, so, good, good, good. Cursed again, are we? The place you found this, do you know what it actually is? An ancient and sacred to natives burial ground. As it seems, chasing them away was not enough for some people, like the owner of this dagger. He despised life in general, and sought ways to make his murders more and more blasphemous. It was not enough to kill on an altar of the old church, so he started killing people on the Indian burial site. And one day, the thought came to his mind that his remains would ultimately stain the once sacred ground. Thus he died by his own dagger. May his name remain forgotten. Spirits won't reveal anything new to us. Maybe anything else. A blessing, yes? You got the goal. We can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? Hmm. I feel much stronger now. All right. Let me do some inventory management. I'm starting to run out of space. Uh, let's see. Let's store this over here for the time being. This over here. Uh, there we go. Okay. Mm, you know, we'll go ahead and sell this feather. We don't need it. Actually, sell two of these feathers. You're back. Reading cashews, huh? Legumes, as they're properly known. All right, so I think the next place we can go is like back to the canyon. There's something there. I guess more gold. There's a deep canyon that separates the town and fort. There must be something there. I know where that is, but I've been there multiple times. Okay, actually, yeah, I think that. Okay, I know where to go. Back this way.
Let's go talk to the other trader too, because he'll have more ammo we can buy. Also, the double barrel shotgun is my favorite. Uh, it's. I think the other sh the the pump shotgun is you know obviously stores more ammo. But you know what? Everyone likes a boomstick. Counted as a sneak attack out. So I think I got the wrong ammo. I think I used the good ammo on that when I shouldn't have. I thank you again. Right, uh, you really? You only have one? Okay, let me buy all that. You know what? Buy a potion deal. Start spending like the big spender we are. Actually, you can have this. I got plenty. There, good. I had the pump shotgun as well, especially the six shot revolver. Well, yeah, I, I get once I got the this, I didn't really have any reason to buy have to use the revolver anymore though. We need to go down into the ravine. What's the difference between a ravine and a canyon, by the way? Aren't they basically the same thing? Did you ever sign a spiritual contract to be reborn as an errant soul and fight evil for a time? What do you, what do you mean by errant soul? Like, just not human anymore? Because, probably not. <laughs> Sounds like you're all a bad bargain. I think ravines are narrower? Okay, I guess that would, you know, I guess that would make sense. I mean, we don't call Pluto a planet because it's too tiny. Oh, it's this asshole. Uh, let's go ahead and get the axe. It's the only thing that really works on him. This shit we saw me. I think it depends on how they're foreign. I mean, aren't they both just formed by water? I hate these things, they're so narrow and they take- Ugh. That's Pluto's definition of stupid. Uh, some people consider it that way. I've never really cared too much about it, but... Eh... Uh. That technically, it's not really the size of it that matters. It's it, it, the reason they did it is because there's actually things in the there's actually uh spherical uh, bodies in the Coupier Belt that are actually bigger than Pluto. So if you want to consider Pluto a planet, you also have to consider all those things planets as well. So we would be adding like a bunch of new planets to the you know the roster. That's why they kind of changed it. So now I believe you, to be a planet, you have to have officially like cleared your orbital plane of you know debris. Is how they astronomy. I mean, I, I have my interests. I have my interests, you know. I think this is where I want me to go, right? Yeah, in here. Well, I got more shotgun ammo than anything else, so let's use that. Got only two shots. Pluto can't clear its orbit due to its size and location. Earth was in this. Also, it's like got a very, very wide orbit. So even if it could, it would take it far longer just because it takes so long to go around its orbital plane. Oops, I actually don't need the gun.
No, you're up there. I always found it interesting how science determined Earth's core is solid. Uh, they fired several types of waves through the planet, and the ones that can't pass through the solid nickel were absorbed and never picked up again. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Earth were in the same place, it wouldn't clear. I know it's like, just like it's too, well, it's just like monstrous. I mean, Earth wouldn't be the same size as it was if it was in the same spot. It'd never be able to grow as big because, it, you know, clearing the plane means adding all that uh, floating, you know, dust and debris to your planetary mass. But, it, you know, when you're that far out, I guess it just takes, it takes like, how long does a Pluto take to orbit? One orbit, like several hundred years? But they're Coopier built objects, so they're not gas giants, can only get so big. Though there isn't there like theorized that there's like a large gas giant of some sort out somewhere in like the Oort cloud or the Coopier belt that we can't see. And that's where a lot of the comets get, you know, flung back into the inner solar system. Where am I going, by the way? Looks like I'm going back to the fort. Oh I am. Oh fuck. Well this is awkward, I can't go down, so I gotta go up. Yeah, this is like back into the fort. Death. All right. Two hundred forty-eight years, huh? Quite a long time. But I. Uh, yeah, the Coopier Belt is interesting, because yeah, that's mainly the reason yet yeah, Pluto can no longer be a planet, because there's quite a few things out there that would also be planets. There's also something, uh, there's like a big asteroid in between uh, Mars and Jupiter that's also spherical, but that, that would you would also maybe think of a planet, but isn't considered one because it's, you know, part of the asteroid belt. But it's pretty good sized. I hate ladders in this game so much. Yeah, Serez is his name, isn't it? There was like a mission to it recently. Yeah, I also think Serez was featured in that TV show, right? Like the the Expanse, like a place where all the belters go. Nemesis theory: the idea of a rogue orbital body, like a miniature sun or gas giant. Uh, well, if it's a sun, it'd be visible. They th I think some of them thinking maybe like a brown, a brown dwarf, like a failed star. But uh, that's one of the theories for like how asteroids get sent back into what they're orbiting around to get sent back into the inner solar system. And I always thought that was neat. Like there's something out there, like it's this cold mass that we can't see. Where am I? Back out here. Or a red dwarf? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you'd, you'd see a red dwarf as well, right? Like, there's only so many things it could be. It's like maybe a really cold gas giant or like a brown dwarf. Though some people like to speculate even more like it's a primordial black hole, like a tiny one. Though those aren't really ever been proven, I don't believe. Oh, oh, wrong way again, shit. Red dwarfs are too dim. Yeah, but I think the red dwarfs, uh, those are like dead stars, right? I don't think our solar system would be old enough for that to have, you know, have occurred. And that'd be the case. Back this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm breathing so heavy. You gonna get through right? What? Mm. I will need that. 
Also, I just noticed after watching the 2022 Scream, it's coping the recent Halloween movie, uh, bringing back old characters from the previous Scream movies. The Scream movies, huh? Those are still going. Really bad if something like that prevented you. I know you. Okay. White dwarfs or dead red dwarfs or just small. Okay. Where is this goldy thing at? Gold thing here. I need. I'm not sure where it's at. Hmm. Oh. Get. Get. I wasn't prepared for this. A lot of wasted ammo. <laughs> Let's stretch those dead legs. Good man walking. Asshole. Not so, uh, so far. There is only four Scream films, not to mention the TV show version. You see, I guess the new one happened recently because I only know about the first three, and they were all kind of shit, to be honest. So they had their time. They both came out like around the same time as like a bunch of other like real teen horror movies. And those were going through like a you know kind of a renaissance of so, like, hey, let's do these again. They're selling again for some reason. Really, this thing had to re oh, why did that worst thing have to respawn? <laughs> sold all this crap too. Alright, whatever. Alright, shotgun needs to be ready for like the big monster in there, so let's reload that with the right ammo. Maybe this stuff, right? Oh, the sheriff. Oh, that's what I was here for? The Sheriff's Star was part- Oh! Part of the Cursed Gold? Alright, I think with that, that last piece of gold though, I can go now fight the boss of this land. Increases stamina by 50, improves sneaking skills, huh? I think that, that might be worth selling. Alright. We don't actually finish all the early access content with this game right now. We just now have the boss to go fight this place. Video game main characters need more cardio. Halloween was good. good. Are they like, how are the new Halloween movies where they have like, you'll. Haven't they made like two and they're making a third of like, you'll, the older characters now? With the old Jamie Lee Curtis? Have those been actually worth it? Alright, so, uh, we'll sell this off. Feather. 
feather, uh, cop, feather, that, that, uh, and this, and this, and what else? Mm, everyone needs more. Oh, cardio is always good for you. Always get cardio chat. Let's see. It. Oops. There's all curses and soul flaws. Ah. You're back and you did what we asked. Good. Now relax a little while and we shall do the rest. Halloween, Halloween kills and Halloween ends. After that, that's it. I've heard they're they're good, but I haven't seen them. Are they? Are, I mean, it seemed like they had some good trailers, but I didn't know if they'd actually be any good because it just feels tight. I mean, the first one I could understand, but now they've turned that into a trilogy of its own. Gold always breeds greed. This badge belonged to the last sheriff of this little town. He was as brave as he was oblivious to the real danger. His beliefs in justice and law allowed him to resist the curse for longer than almost anybody else, and yet he fell into the spiraling depths of paranoia. Everybody was a suspect. Everyone could be plotting something evil behind his back. He died fighting cultists he followed into a canyon, not seeing the evil right under his nose. I mean, the Halloween franchise ended with the death of Dr. Pleasance. Do uh, wasn't that a long time ago? Like, didn't he die early in the series? Halloween 2018 was actually pretty good, but Halloween Kills was fucking off. Wasn't there a Halloween, a Halloween movie in, like, the 2000s that was directed by Rob Zombie or something that was also pretty shit? That's, like, the first attempt to revive it in a while until we got recently. Whenever I've done intensive running in my life, body tends to burn muscle instead of fat. So frustrating. Uh, there is some science to that. You have to really like eat a lot of protein if you're gonna do a lot of running. I feel, because it will actually your body will try to like you'll know, digest your muscles. It was very shit. I remember watching it and being really disappointed. That's the last first item. Didn't that one have Jamie Lee Curtis in it as well? Like they brought her back for that one again. Back then. You did well. We appreciate your efforts. Here, something for you. Ah, one more thing. When you go to face the evil, look out for tormented spirits. Their cries they cries? lead you to a secret passage. In the tunnel, seek left every time. Hmm. Okay, just go left every time you come to a fork? Or is that just, does that mean go to a left every, as soon as I enter it? Or after I hear, like, find the secret passage? But, uh, chat, keep a look out, uh, listen for, like, tormented spirits. Once you've found the roots of the evil, seek and destroy its seeds. Reap the bloody harvest, and the curse will be lifted for good. Okay. A blessing. Yeah, you got the gold. Bury it beneath this totem, and we can do many things, but you can only select. Hmm. He died in 1995, just about as Halloween 6 wrapped up. Yeah, I don't remember what happens in each Halloween film outside the first one. <laughs> That's like the only one I remember since it was the most important one. The rest of them are just like, here's, another, here's some more of this guy killing everybody. You guys want more of that, right? Yes, Standard One. Uh, I guess I'll keep the revolver. Maybe I'll come. Maybe I'll switch to it. Who knows? What is a peace pipe? Gives a fifty percent chance for spirit attacks to miss. Is that what I got from getting the extra gold? That's kind of shit. However, uh, I don't really need this on anymore, so we'll take that off. I don't really think that's helping, so we'll, put, we'll take that away and put the pipe there. Hmm, maybe I should buy the small bag. That would give me more inventory space. Donald Pleasance was the best part of the Halloween franchise. I mean, I remember him in the first movie, yeah.
the bag over here. Alright, and the bag can go what? Alright, we'll put the pistol in here. <clears throat> this heart thing. Mm, I guess we'll put this extra Molotov in there for the time being. Alright, so we're now going to go try to fight, I guess, the final dungeon in this area, but I'm going to go to the other trader and buy all of his ammo first. And maybe his better Winchester rifle, because, yeah, might as well. I got the money for it. Rob Zombie got Malcolm McDowell to play him in his, his movie. He got, he got Malcolm McDowell to play Rob Zombie, is what you're saying? Or do you mean the, the doc? Oh, the doctor, never mind. <laughs> I was a little confused. God, I hate the stamina system so much. So what's my level up looking like? What can I do with it? No, only the one point. I started liking Halloween a lot less when they began leaning real hard into the whole Michael as a supernatural force of major. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah, he should just be like, yo, this, yo. It's better when he's just like he's this weird psychopath. But then again, if you want to make it someone who can kill that well, despite or apparently take all that damage and not die... At some point, it gets a little unrealistic because I remember him getting shot by like a firing squad at one point of police officers. Name, just call me Jim. Nothing, pile. You have the eyes of a killer, and you. All right, you got bullets. I want. Let's do it. Max stamina by for effect does not stack. These. I've got five sticks of dynamite. I think that should be enough for whatever I might have to deal with. But we'll buy his bandages. And we'll buy a push. I could buy another saddle. What? The large bag? Yeah, I could just buy another large bag if I wanted. Don't know why I spend money on that now. <laughs> All right, the Winchester, this one, uh, this one in here, actually. Uh, resistance to melee and range attacks increased by 25% if drunk, weapon damage is increased. So as long as I don't get, if you get drunk, you got like a, both a buff and a debuff if you miss. Uh, I think I'll spend the rest of my money on that. Does it actually do more base damage? I think it's the same, right? It just gives you more resistance to melee and range attack. Okay, that's, that's worth it for that alone. This is a nice, pretty color. Alright, let us load this. <clears throat> Let's sleep and get our health back. Moving on. Have the eyes of a killer and you... mm, oh, he's got more ammo. Give. Mm, bandages too. That'll do. We got. We're pretty well stocked at this point. I feel. Let's go open up the 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 dungeon. See what we find inside. Ugh. No, I don't want to waste ammo on you guys. Leave me alone. I'm after the Ornite. Well, I can slowly run away as my stamina builds up. Isn't Michael originally meant to die at the end of the first? Yeah, the second Halloween movie doesn't have him in it. It's about haunted, like, Halloween masks, actually, or something. It's just that no one liked it, so like, uh, let's just go back to what we were doing. Yes. No ammo from you? Oh well. Yeah, you do. I want all of it. That was so weird. I, I never saw it. I just read about it actually. Hey, Junkum, how you doing? 
Welcome, my dude. Hi, chat. Footsteps never How's your night been, man? May your footsteps... I think I'm pretty good in ammo now, actually. What? I'll sleep one more time and refill the stock. Many is All I care about, the money. Alright, moving on. Now that I'm feeling pretty confident. Looks like I'll have to wait to play this game until there's more you know, content made, because I think we're getting through this tonight. We've got a full hour left anyways. I think I'm a better gamer when my voice drops a few octaves. Have you ever realized that before? You defend Halloween 4, 5, and 6 due to Donald Pleasance. Really, that one that... What is, is that guy any other movies that you love? Because it seems like him alone is all it takes for you to like declare a movie like, hmm, good stuff. Down here. The music's even stopped in this place. Hmm. Alright, first off we got one of these guys. God, these things suck. And they can go through walls. the atmosphere. Well, I guess they want the music to stop here because, you know, it is like the final area of this map, I think. This Doom 3 freak will be crazy, huh? Alright, since that's that big guy, I should... Uh, I'm gonna deal with these things first with silver bullets, since that's the only thing really hurts them. Donald Pleasance and also is in The Great Escape, Escape from New York. I, he plays in Escape from New York? I don't recall. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, so it's possible. Oh, shit. Oh, these fucking poison little bitch. Ah. Rest. All right, potion. Now, uh, what's up, Dargan? Uh, we're just like playing like horror, like Western game tonight. How you doing, Limbo? We've been having a good time. Hopefully, you've had a good day yourself. Uh, Dolan Pleasant. Okay, uh, he's the president of Snake Pliskin. Is sent. Well, was that that was him? I did not get the same. You know, I guess he does a really good job of like playing a different character there because I never realized that. A it's been a while. I wonder why they no one's tried to make a new escape from like New York or Los Angeles movie. I mean, they've tried to remake so much other stuff, but not that. I'm, I'm, maybe I shouldn't be mentioning that because they might screw it up. Actually, <laughs> maybe maybe don't do that. 
Now, have you ever watched the Chucky TV series? I've only seen a bunch of the Chucky movies. I think I've actually seen almost all. I've seen all the older Chucky movies. I, never, I haven't really seen all the newer ones where he had like a bride and then a kid and everything else. And I haven't seen the TV show. I don't really care about it. those kind of horror movies that much anymore. But at one point in my life, I was interested in them. They tried and never got... Really, they did? When did they do that? Links were deleted, but you should be able to search them for what the... Uh, please note, I'm hoping you'll draw inspiration. Red Dead see how characterization custom is going to be with black people and zero punctuation and diversity. What is this for? Pause have been productive. Hope you and the crew and chatter. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty good night, but then you wrote something that was like a... Please note, I'm hoping you'll draw inspiration from RDC how character customization be for black people for zero punct or zero punctuations diversity in games video. Lastly, perspectives uh, and respectively. Uh, I'm not sure what you're trying to you're getting at it, actually. Uh, you're saying I should like watch those videos? I mean, okay, I'm, I mean, I'm not opposed to that, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to glean from it. There are videos that are comedy. Oh, I, I, okay. I mean, I like comedy. I'm somewhat involved in the business myself. For inspiration. I don't know if they would be like something I need for my videos though, if that's what you're talking about. Crap. I don't really need the full magazine loaded, buddy. Let me shoot. Using money anymore right now, so we don't we'll need to like get all their crap. Every night, instead of worrying about the rapid collapse of society, I cry about the lack of diversity. Yes, <laughs> I mean I haven't really noticed the issue to be honest. Uh, usually they let you do whatever you want with the character creator these days, haven't they? Unless there's like some specific game I'm not aware of. <laughs> no, you don't take others' material; it's just fun, and you may appreciate it. I mean. I might check it out at some point. I can't promise it, though. That's the door I need to go in, so let me check everything else out first. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, I'm glad you, you found some videos that you like. Let me get the hell out of this weird-ass canyon. Alright, final area, chat. For the early access game. Right, they said to go left every time, right? From my my clue. And uh, look, uh, the, I think these haunted soul. But I want to get the ammo too. I see ammo down here. Can always do with some more bullets. A lot of ammo down here. Holy shit! Where's your horse? No horse in this game, unfortunately. This feels like boss level, like ammo dump. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Uh, potion. Have too much of those. Ammo. Uh, I guess I don't need to spend so much ammo on ammo after all, because they're stocking me up in here. Something that made you upset in 2003, John Carpenter was trying to get an anime made of Escape from New York with Mitsuda Hong, director of Outlaw Star. So you direct what happened to it, because that could have been pretty damn cool. You know, pretty, pr pretty uh, actually forward the young John Carpenter when an anime made back in 2003 when that was still kind of niche here in the West. Mm -hmm. 
never materialized. I guess it's just, you know, they couldn't get the funding for it probably then. Never watch movies by weebs. Most of the stuff you watch these days is made by weebs. Unfortunately. <laughs> now it is. You know, the weebs get jobs in the business they like, you know. Okay, they're actually stocking me up with a worryingly amount of ammo. <laughs> kind of concerning they're giving me this much. I don't know why that I feel that feeling though. It's like they're giving me this much ammo. Why? Uh, what's your most anticipated game this year? I'm really waiting for Forspoken. Oh, if FF16 actually comes out this year, maybe that. But right now, God of War Ragnarok. Though I hear most people are currently looking forward to the Harry Potter game the most. Well, not the Harry Potter, the Hogwarts game, I guess. Since it's well before he was born. Let's put these to good use. Hmm. I got that black stuff around my screen like there's something gold, some cursed gold here. Oh, actually can't hold any more. Let's drop some garbage then. There we go. Whatever gets the job done. The good thing, right? Well, technically it's a good thing, but the fact they're giving me so much means make, might mean I'm in for like a really you know, grueling boss fight that's going to be annoying. Also, thank you so much for the complete ammo saturation for 100 bits. Ammo would be 999 tons of ammo at this point. Yeah. It's all lead too, so it's super heavy. Okay, that's clearly the boss, but before we do that, let's go back to that little hidden tunnel I found. Oh yeah, they said to shoot these things, right? Maybe I should use my axe on it and save the ammo. Actually, I don't have enough. I can't actually switch to the axe because I got too much shit on me. Take the rest of your bits, I will take them. Thank you for the generous donation. This lets me do bonus damage to the boss before I get to it, I guess. Or maybe this is the only way of killing it. You know what? Don't need any more tongues. Also, you scared off base? You finally won? I doubt that. God of War 3 type hype music. Mm, let's give it time. So they said to go left every time I came across it, right? What else is down here, though? Sometimes the level design doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, will you send House of Ashes? <clears throat> That's what I'm currently working on, actually. I want to get that done before the new Quarry game comes out, which is, you know, 
from the same developer and basically the same type of game. Remember on Sci-Fi Channel, they made it Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs. It sounds like one of those weird, like, games they'd make for, like, you know, cheaply on Steam. Alright, so everybody's dead? Good. Let me heal up. Oh. Ah, fuck. Let's go, you goaded. You're probably top five of my most watched YouTube channels. Hey, well, thank you very much, man. Uh, I'm, I appreciate that, actually. Glad you like my stuff that much. I continue to, you'll know, hopefully live up to the, your expectations. And not take this ammo. Take the ammo, please. Yeah, that makes that kind of makes my night when people tell me that. Like, well, thank you. Now I will hopefully procrastinate less. Never actually got a chance to watch Z Nation. What, what is Z Nation? I needed to go. where I last killed the seed at, so I need to go this way. I see a lot of people fucking coming at me. Place is a bit packed. Holy crap, that's a lot. Run. How did I just score the entire nest? Oh, I'm, I'm out of space here. Oh, I did a job. I killed him just as I was about to run out of room. Oh. Rough times out there. Hey, Magneto. Hey, uh, the old Magneto's disappointing son. What was that? Yo, the, the speed guy? I'll, I'll call you after, like, superheroes, too. My YouTube autoplay is either Dargan or Game Grumps when I sleep. Wow, Game Grumps. I haven't thought of them in a while. Not they were bad, I just kind of grew out of them. Oh, a potion? I'll take that. I kind of need that, actually. Quicksilver? Yeah. Isn't he, like, OP? Or at least he's depicted that way in the movies. But he's not really OP. He's basically the Flash, right? Is what he is. Only he doesn't have the time travel ability. Or probably does in some certain story. Spending so much time killing people and looting in this game. Do you think Gotham Knights will end up becoming a flop like Marvel's Avengers? I doubt it'll be that bad, but it doesn't look too... Let's be honest. Even if you're a big fan of Batman, are you really that big of a fan of Batman's, like, you know, helpers? To really want to play as a game with nothing but them? I don't know. I, I feel like live service games... Eh, I don't know. Really depends on how annoying the live service elements to it are, I guess. The Flash, but much slower. His top speed is around Mach 2. Really? I, I, he only goes to Mach 2, so in the movie, he's like moving so fast, people are uh, around him are barely moving at all. He can like, you know, while an explosion is going on, from what I recall, a clip of it. Is that technically not, I guess it, maybe in the comics and movies, obviously a difference, but. Yeah. 
Any more of them? Yeah, those things. Seems it's 1991 51 miles per hour is its top speed in the comics. Yeah, that's pretty fast, but yeah, Barry is like goes faster to run back in time, so. Or whatever his name is, the old guy who wears red spandex. I mean, a, I mean, Apocalypse beat him by super gluing his foot. Well, yeah, but even like the Flash gets beat by someone spraying ice on the floor. <laughs> Isn't like one of like Flash's big villains, like a dude who literally just like used an ice gun on the floor and like, oh, that's, you know, there goes a the Flash slipping around. <laughs> That's, I guess that's the known weakness of all speedsters. Captain Cold, he's cool. I remember he's in like a movie. Oh, I can probably kill this guy here. Let's see. But he's really just a Mr. Freeze, isn't he? Wait, has Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze ever teamed up? What's the difference between them, actually? Come on, show yourself. I know you're down there. Captain Cold... Uh, Captain Cold is the first Mr. Freeze? Oh, wait, there was more than one Mr. Freeze? Captain Cold has a code all the rogues do. I don't know this part of the lore. I'm just, like, talking about, you know, they're basically the same power, like an ice gun, right? You're watching Star Trek, the original series, and Kirk is flirting with a child? Ugh. Uh, double, uh, not, you sure you're watching the right Star Trek at that point? <laughs> Maybe not with some kind of weird, like, very close parody? Then again, it was like the 50s or 60s. Maybe that was more common then, I guess. Or more acceptable? I don't know. Captain Cold's gun doesn't freeze. It's pointed out it slows molecules down. It, it still puts ice around everything. Let's point that out as well. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the difference is, they explain it. it has, the effect is the same of something being coated in ice and not moving. Basically the same thing. And also, when things freeze, their molecules slow down. That's what Absolute Zero is all about. Captain Cold is a street criminal, and Mr. Freeze is a genius and just morally so, but basically the same character though. Like, uh, just different yellow reasoning. All right, where is my next yo know, blood seed to shoot? There it is. Anything else down here though? Should be one more somewhere. Unless that's only like make it easier when you go up and kill the real body or something? I don't know. Or I missed one somewhere. Oh no, there it is. Boss dead? Boss dead. Scenario, with your triumph over Mother of the Roots, Sun can be seen in the Barren Lands for the first time in what seems ages. But this isn't the end, as there are in fact many cursed lands, and there is always more evil in need of smiting. Your task is not over, and thus you shall be torch in the you shall be a torch in the darkness once more. For you pray yourself. Putrid swamps are waiting. So it looks like there's I know that the next level is that. I'm not sure why this is locked, because doesn't that mean it's already available? All right. The 
The big difference between Mr. Freeze and Captain Cold is that one was played by Arnold and the other one was like the Rob. Well, I guess so. Well, that game is done until there's more content. Uh, what'd you think of it, chat? You guys like that? I think it made for good stream since there's not really much to pay attention to other than the old the gameplay, so I could just talk the entire time. If you guys want more of it, once there's like more content, I might come back to it, play it again. Uh, everyone give yourself a good stretch now, right? Cause I'm doing it. It's interesting if I could be fleshed out more. I think the only thing they're doing now is adding more levels and monsters to it, probably. I think the gameplay isn't going to change any. Next stream when? I don't know, because I probably won't be streaming like the next day or two, as I want to really focus on finishing my rough draft and then my fi finish, well, finishing my, my script overall. So that's going to be my next priority. So once I finish that up, I'll stream again. So probably at least two days, I'm going to say, probably without streams. Unless I get unless I get all my work done tomorrow, which is unlikely because I got dentist too as well tomorrow. But as always, I'll always be streaming more as soon as I can. But gotta get that YouTube stuff out of the way. My actual job, you know. But you guys have been awesome tonight. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. You guys have been great tonight. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a good night. Hey, you have a good night's sleep too. Uh, before I go though, if you're new here, hit the follow button, and you want to join my Discord, you can type in the Discord code down below in the chat, or you can scroll down and click on the Discord banner there as well. Uh, but also thank you for any bits, gift subs, or regular subs. Very much appreciated. And thank you for the excellent mods. All around. Clap, clap. So, uh, I don't see anyone online that I'd want to raid right now, so I guess I'll leave it as that. But chat, you guys have a good night's rest and you know a good day tomorrow, all that sappy stuff. And I will see you again very soon. As soon as I finish up my script. Hopefully it ends up being pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna head out. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Peace everybody. <laughs>